<sighs> okay. Hey, bring Chatterino up. At the bottom, because I just opened up. I air. I elder. I Q. I techno rave. I feature in. Oi, I'm not late. I smile. <sighs> Thought Ewan was bald for a moment. Also, Ewan has a nose. Yes, I have a nose. Walkie's good, Ewan morning. Mm -hmm. Beach episode, Ewan? It is beach episode. <sighs> Hi, Kodiak. Do you guys have, like, a dominant foot? So, like, everybody has a right hand and a left hand, right? My left foot is a lot more, like, stable than my right foot. Well, my leg. So, like, if I stand on just my right leg, it's, like, a little wobbly. It always feels like it's not, like, perfectly stable. I stand on my left foot, and it's just, like, it's solid. There's not, like, any wobble at all. Elon's not from Obon Star Racers. Therefore, he has a nose. You know, I've always- I've seen a few episodes of that show, and it looks so fucking good. But I've never watched it fully. Left foot. Always used it when I played football. Mm hmm. I can kick harder with one of them. Does that count? I don't know if that counts, but, like, if you can stand up right now... Try standing on both of them for like five seconds. My right is like, it's wobbly. It's just like, it feels like I constantly have to readjust it. No, it's cold? Fair. <laughs> Think about it next time you stand up. Spoiler alert, they be star racing. I pixel. Obon star racers look like somebody saw Phantom Menace as a kid was like, holy shit, that's the coolest part of the Star Wars. There should be a show just about this, and somebody's like, what about the lightsabers? And they were like, the fucking what? No. The the pod racing. I ain't getting out of bed. Mm. Hi, Cairo. If you can touch your butt with the back of your foot, then that's your dominant foot? Okay, I'm pretty sure I can do both. I can do it with my right. I can do it with my left. I do need to bring my foot there to assist it. What if I could do it with both feet chan? I'm pretty sure feet chan was saying that just to see me do it, but. Like, kick your butt? Did it with that one. Did it with that one. I'm Yaster. Not assisting. I can do it with both. Real talk pod racing is awesome. It is. Anakin should not have won it, but it is. Is that how we decide which of our hands are dominant? Because if so, I must be ambidextrous. Anakin had to win it? Dude, he was eight, had no force training. And was competing in a sport that humans typically can't compete in because their brain doesn't think fast enough? And he built his own pod racer? After he built his robot? Come on. Stop slapping your ass. But I like how it feels, Techno. Fair. This might be a little loud. Oh my god! It's at 50, it was at 20% volume and it was still too loud. <sighs> Healing, can you slap your ass on stream? I think that might actually be TOS. I think if I were to just go, whoops, that might be TOS. Hi, Furisu. For real? 
didn't know this. I believe that might be a focus on uh, sexual content slash body part. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's been banned for spanking. I don't know. Oh, my stuff is done charging? Hell yeah. Thank you, Mathies. Real didn't know this. Okay, listen. You can see that on Yulin fans. Yulin fans doesn't have anything. I I was very ambitious. I wanted to post a bunch of stuff there in the last six months, and I posted fuck all. And now today is the last day of being on my own. For the next six months, I'll have I'll have parents as roommates. Anslin. Thank you so much, Matthews. Um, that does give us incline. Oh God! Did I did I not press it? Ah. Uh. Fuck you, you and you lazy slut. Everyone else, you and. You work too hard, you need to take breaks. Seven days a week is too much. A YouTube video a day is too much. And then Matthews. Didn't do a, <laughs> didn't do blue twitch, you lazy slut. <laughs> She's like, ah. <laughs> Love you. Don't risk it. Well, here's the thing, Techno Wraith. With a lot of stuff that like you get banned for, Somebody has to report it. I can't imagine anyone here, like, actually reporting a slap. That'd be like, you have 500 viewers, and like, 10 or 20 of them are hate watchers. Yeah, take a day off and do blue twitch. Maybe after a year. Once I've done 365 days in a row, I'll have... I'll have more leniency to break the streak. Right now, I'm like, I gotta do a year in a row day on my 304 until I walking. Uh. I can see us doing like Wednesdays on Blue Twitch. Um. <sighs> but that is that is a long time from now at this point. If streams advertise 18 plus, then stuff like slapping butt not frequently is allowed, but also not sexual way. However, apparently thigh slaps are allowed. Mm hmm. Hi, Tech. We hate hate watchers. Tech, I had completely forgotten about the thing. Or, like, I'd think about it now and then, and I'd be like, oh, I need to get that done. And Safi was like, you got all the times from people? I was like, oh, I think so. Let me check. And Kor had given me the time, who was the third person to give me the time, on, like, April 24th, and I was like, oh, fuck, I've been sitting on this for a month. <sighs> Off to work, love you guys. I'm definitely not saying this because I am desperate for any forms of affection. What the heck, Techno? Well, I hope work goes fast. Bye, thank you for stopping by this morning. Feet Chan, I, I haven't been able to watch much Sean lately because of my own times. But I used to watch Sean quite a bit. I fucking love Ace and Lone. I'm getting their names mixed up right now. I think Ace is the one that I'm like, God, they're so fucking cute and I just want to squish them. I love those two. Uh, okay, we did that. We're at this one. For anybody that doesn't know, Ace and Lone are Sean VR's mods, and he pays them. The whole stream is built around, like, the three of them. It's not just Sean. It's just Sean's channel. But he treats them like employees with a paycheck and everything.
Uh... I used to watch him frequently just to do 100 bits because he dropped something behind him. <laughs> you were the person doing that. Oh my god, I literally remember that beat chan. I literally just remember that constantly going off. That was you. Respect plus for them? Mm-mm. Ugh. I put the headset on and my allergies are like, time to activate? Yes. And it's like, you motherfucker. Ugh. Ah, uh, A Sloan. That's what I thought it was. Ah. Uh. Um. Squats. Squats and plank. What? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Hi, Louie. Three, four, five. Ah. I didn't get to play any Moth Remix yesterday. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. One, two, Three, four, five. Ah. I gotta check something. Ah, I see. I now have two tabs of Shocky open. Hi, I see fire. Me on the weekends in a karaoke booth. My face after I didn't swallow. You know, that's incredible. Because that's the first time somebody's like twisted the meaning of one of my emotes. And I love it. I'm like, because <laughs> I've done this to so many people. My friend, um, my friend Koyo, he has an emote. Uh, this one. Which is his, like, rage face, right? He's like, Err, I'm really mad. And he got this when people were first, like, when they had butt emotes. So I would do that, and then put a butt, and he's like, No! Stop it! That's not what it's for! <laughs> it was so funny to me. I think I need four more. One, two, three, four... Uh, hello, you and air sweet. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. And then planking. Ah. All right, fifteen thirty. I like just missed a thirty second interval. I didn't even raise myself up like I normally do, and I still look like I'm floating a bunch. We love planking, said no one ever. I don't know, I feel like there's some people that like the planking, but not them planking. They like me planking. Like Pixel. Pixel, I think, likes me planking. Uh. Uh. 
three minutes. We're starting at 16, going to 19. Does anybody know what game this is from? I feel like for the people that would recognize it, it'd be super identifiable. Mop Remix is so funny one. I love one-shotting everything. How about getting one shot, Frisu? I saw the uh, the hot fix to the bosses they uh, put forward. And I saw a few posts complaining about it before the hot fix. Uh, as a tank, I have 175,000 health. And Garlon Pheromones just hit me for 245k. Huh? Only done questing rares, no raid scenario, five mans? Mm-hmm. One minute down. I want to play it for Isu. I'm like, God, I so want to play it. I want to, I want to get to level 25, and I want to do all the normal raids, so I get the bonus experience. But, like, there's too many other things to play right now, and Mop Remix is kind of something I can put on the back burner a little bit. <sighs> Halfway there. I'm only here to level 7 Death Knights. You're not going to get all the toys and tr uh, mounts? <sighs> also, if you want to level 7 Death Knights, you got to do the raids. You want to have all the toys? There's not new toys? <sighs> <sighs> the raids is the fastest way to level for Isu. Every new unique raid boss you kill is like 12% experience to your account on your cloak. So you do all the raids, and then every character after that should be lightning fast. Raid ups got nerfed by 99% from PTR? No. Not raid experience. Each boss you kill gives you a 12% experience bonus. I think I'm going to spend my time doing raids for 12% experience. You would just have to do each one once. Ah. Painful? All right. Ah, 30 more seconds. Ah. Ah. 20. Ow. 15. The shoreline. 8, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I lost one. Uh, the shoreline cringe. Uh, it's it's like an old. And... I actually don't know what game console this game is on. Uh, yeah, so universe. I think that was Xbox. Uh, counterpoint, wow well, is already painful, so what's the difference? It's not painful. If you find wow painful, you're playing it wrong. Uh. Oh god, I hate blinking. Let's fix our trackers. Everybody look away. I'm always scared to recalibrate in this model, but I never f think to, like, um, change the way my, uh, you're getting your fucking nose stretched. Wait, I grabbed <laughs> your hood. Ah. There we go. Um, I have two models. I have the walking model and the comfy model, the, the off-stream model. Both of them are a little unfinished. The off-stream model has the better shorts, so that's the one that I switched to at the end. But the, this model also has the lewd bits, <laughs> and so I'm always scared when I, like, um, change avatars or recalibrate oh, yeah, that it's, like, uh, gonna show that for a second. I'm like, oh, God, wait, I should have faced it away. <sighs> All right. Hi. 
Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, this camera, this one right here. Ah. What am I forgetting? The music. I need to come over here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, Matthews, it's so high. You guys have no idea how tempting it is to just start with Final Fantasy beaches each time because they're so much better than WoW beaches. <sighs> oh, that's what I still need to do in... I still need to look at that in BDO. Hi, Smug. <clears throat> Why does this feel so fast? I need to look at you in BDO. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Anyway. Anyway. I definitely need to maintenance this thing. Holy cow, it sounds like something's scraping on the treadmill right now. I wonder if people in Yulin's chat think I'm actually toxic because of the other day. I don't think anyone thinks you're toxic, Farisu. Uh. There you go. Uh. That was, in fact, not a collectible. It was not correct. Uh. Smat you little shit. Oh, lost one. What do you mean by that? Uh. All right. I need a drink. I got to play Rabbit and Steel a bit yesterday. We also did World Exploration with Core. I don't remember any of the worlds. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like a slow day. We went to we went to one of the Metroid worlds that I found. And it was neat. It was unfinished. We got to like one room. Where just the whole thing was like no textures and no collision. So like we get to this just mm. perfectly white room and fall through the floor and it's like, well, I guess that's the end. Um But it's a guy yeah, who's I'll going do. through He's going through like a lot of the Metroid two and three maps. Metroid Prime two, Metroid Prime Three. And he's just putting them in the mm -hmm. game. Like he's just porting them into VR. Um, which is rad. I didn't play these games, and so going through them, I was like, oh, shit, this actually makes me want to. Um. They're good. good. Yeah. I... <laughs> Did you play the uh, remake? No, I played... I played... I played Metroid Prime 1 on the GameCube. And... Okay. I never... It never really clicked with me. It always felt like I was playing it just because I like Samus and Super Smash Bros. But, like, the actual game itself, I was just like... Uh... I don't know. It just felt like I was just doing it to do it. Um... I remember I fought Ridley. And then, like... I just never came back to it after saving after beating Ridley. And, like... People told me, like, what the fuck? That's a really late point in the game. That... Yeah. Do you fight him before the end of the game? I believe so. Did you just fight him? That Yeah, that's the end of the game, and then you touch the thing, and it's like the last cutscene. <laughs> what do you mean you... What? Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, is he the final boss? <laughs> yeah, he's the final boss! Maybe I'm remembering yeah. <laughs> it wrong. And I knew he was coming up, but I fought some other boss? I know it was like 80% <clears throat> through. I know I was around that much. And then I was just like, eh, Metroid Prime, the first one. Well, he's the final, he's, he's the final one. And then you hop in and then you fight Metroid Prime. Okay. I don't remember if so I it's fought like Ridley e e or someone else. 
Or no, you fight Metroid Prime and then... Ridley, right? Yes. I think so. I don't know. I played it only like a year ago. I should remember. <laughs> there's a... There's a lot of games where I like literally got to the end, but I was just burnt out. And so I just didn't finish them. Mm. I did this with Wind Waker where I broke the shield surrounding mm. Hyrule. I was really like, okay. What is wrong with you? <laughs> time to go beat the game. But I was just like so tired. I was just like, I'd just rather play other things right now. And so I save and I was like, I'll do this tomorrow. And then I just never played it again. That's absurd. Sounds like that sounds like me. It's like get getting bored of Wind Waker is absurd done. to me. <laughs> Wait, GameCube Wind Waker or like HD remake Wind Waker? GameCube. Yeah, no, nah, doing the Triforce BS at the end was really annoying. That's yeah. the one thing I hated. It was the same thing in Metroid Prime where you had to go around and you had to collect the little mm -hmm. relic thingies. All like I feel like their open world GameCube games had like a really weird like end grind that just totally killed the pacing. Mm-hmm. One second. Wind Waker is not the worst Zelda. That is so cap. <laughs> Spirit tracks. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> Saying Wind oh Waker is the worst Zelda is, this... like that? is not like... That's just rage bait. Literally everyone for Isu. This... This is genuinely... Common L for Risu take. And not just like common L, this is like a deciding factor. This is like if anybody was on the fence about, hey, is Risu joking or does she really have bad takes? Oh. Well, she genuinely has bad takes. Wind Waker is one of the greatest. It's in most people's top yeah. three. Wind Waker's up there. I I would say like one and two are bad, but that's because the translation's really bad for English. Mm -hmm. Like if anyone tells me that they beat one without a guide, I'm like, okay, you're actually like from the 80s. You actually like were born and grew up in the 80s and had limited free time. Mm -hmm. If you were to look and at like a pencil and paper, if you were to look at modern Zelda games, like anything that's Ocarina of Time afterward. Um, not just 3D ones, but also like Ocarina of Time after. God, I'm calling that modern, and that's probably not the mark of modern at this point. Um, the, uh, the other weakest ones I would say is like Phantom Hourglass, because its main mechanic was really annoying. Skyward Sword. It had like Sword. a really repetitive dungeon you had to go back to. Skyward Sword. Um,. I would say it's just the motion control stuff, and I think uh -huh. the stamina thing was something that people weren't used to. I didn't... But a lot of it, a lot of it was tedium that they removed in the remake. Like the thing mm. I hated in Skyward Sword is every time you loaded up the game, every item you picked up, it like did like the little animation, like item oh. description again for like a blue rupee, and it's like, why are you explaining to me <laughs> what a fucking blue rupee is like fifty hours into this game? Oh. <laughs> Skyward Sword had the really bad motion controls. Which admittedly for me wasn't that big of an issue. Anytime it started to get no. off, I was just like, oh, point it up. And it was like, good to go for another 30 minutes. Um, so I wasn't like that bothered by it. I had, a, I had a good time playing Skyward Sword. And what I've always said is like, it's a great game. But it's probably the weakest Zelda. It's not even bad. It's just, it's comparing mm. itself against Legend of Zelda games. That's true. Um, the story felt a little convoluted to me. I I like what they did in Breath of the Wild with like the openness and like l moving away from the formula. In oh, Skyward yeah. Sword, it felt like they kept the worst parts of the formula, but like the least interesting parts of the dungeons and bosses. So like, I don't know. I remember the dungeons and bosses feeling really disjointed, and it wasn't always like. Hey, you're in a dungeon. It was like, oh, I, oh, this is a dungeon. Okay, I, I, I guess it is. Um, and then felt like there was a lot of repetition in the bosses. And then it was also like mm -hmm. the worst example of like 
the 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 formula. I think Skyward Sword is why people notice the Legend of Zelda formula of go to a dungeon, struggle through it because you don't have an item, kill the mini boss, get the item that helps you get through the rest of the dungeon, fight the boss with the item, and Skyward Sword was like. It just felt blatant. It felt so low effort because, like, you get to a dungeon, it's a pain to go through. You kill the <sighs> mini boss, you get the bow. You can now shoot all the very obvious eye sculptures to go through the pirate ship. You get to the boss, he has a giant glowing orange eye that he roars in front of you and is just like, Where should you hit me? Where's the weak point? It's just like, <laughs> Okay, dude. You don't like breaking the imprisoned's big wiggly toes for the third fight in a row? No, I what do you mean? don't. I do like the imprisoned, <laughs> but I don't like his wiggly toes, and I don't like... I don't know. I feel like they need to make it more varied each yeah. time. I don't know. Something, something needs to be done with I that I think fight. the other thing is just, just like... In comparison to Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, the exploration felt like such a downgrade. Yeah. Like, the sky was not fun to explore. There was jack all except for point A, point B. Mm -hmm. Like, there was no... You know, you might see, like, two bad guys or maybe a rock that has, like, a rupee on it. But other than that, like, there was no reason to, like, explore. It was like... There were so many sky islands. And 90% of them had nothing. And then you got the Nothing. cube that corresponds to them. It's like, oh, go get the chest on this guy. It's like, this just feels like a longer way to give me chests. This just feels like you could have just given me the chest at the cube, but now I have to do this extra step of flying to it. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> in Twilight Princess, I don't think the formula is a bad thing. I think it can be done really well, and it was in Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess, the same equivalent dungeon where you get the bow. You're going through the dungeon, and it's already pretty varied because it's a uh, steel boots dungeon. So you're doing crazy shit like climbing on the wall, right? You get to the mini boss, which is an incredibly cool mini boss because it's sumo with a fucking gore on, with the steel boots on. Mm -hmm. And then you get the bow. This makes it easier to go through the dungeon, but, like, the big thing about it was that it lets you fight all the ranged enemies. So, like, there were things you needed the bow to do to, like, lower bridges. But more importantly, it's just like, oh my god, I can finally kill these shits. And it had that really cool, like, big open room with, like, ten enemies in it that all used bows. And it felt like a shootout with them. Then you get to fight the boss, which has the glowing weak point that you shoot with the bow. But you have to combine it with the steel boots where you run around and pull the chain. And it's just like, we hadn't seen that in a Zelda fight before. So just by having this new mechanic, by combining it with other stuff, it didn't feel like, shoot the glowing weak point. You got the new item, use it to do the thing. So like Twilight Princess, one of the fucking best examples of the formula. And then Skyward Sword just... I don't want to say it mm -hmm. felt lazy, but it definitely, that aspect of it felt low effort. Yeah, it, it definitely kind of felt like the same thing over again. Mm -hmm. But I like a lot of things in Skyward Sword. Like, some of the dungeons were really cool. Like, um, I thought it was cool that, like, you went back to the areas, like, uh, when you go back to the forest and you flood it and then you get, like... Yeah. Like, I thought, like, going back and changing previous areas and then, like, making mechanics around it was cool. But I give the same time, like, where someone would see that at face value and be like, oh, this is lazy. They're reusing the same shit. I, I really like the weapon upgrading. Where it was like... The shield upgrading and the weapon upgrading was super cool. I, I would have not made it so that the shield breaks and you need to buy new ones, because I hated that. But everything else with the upgrade system, mm -mm -mm. I really liked. And they took it over into Breath of the Wild. Um, it was a system that was oh, like... I remember people hated the durability in breath of the wild when it came out i remember yeah. <laughs> so much complaining about that i i don't know if i've ever said my theory for breath of the wild breath of the wild would be a perfect game 
if it had a late game mechanic that, due to the nature of Breath of the Wild, you could rush, where you lock the durability of a weapon. So, like, let's say you find mm. a fifth great fairy that's, like, I don't know, the mother great fairy. And she's like, I can make a weapon uh, unbreakable. I can make it, you know, something that will last generations and be indestructible. But the price is steep, and it would cost, like, three diamonds. Um, a dragon scale of each type. And one heart. Hmm. So, like, you'd literally have they, to give a heart for that. They kind of did it with the Master Sword. Where, like, if you did all the trials and stuff, it got, like, it got better damage. It got, like, a mm -hmm. faster cooldown on everything. Yeah, but, like... But, yeah, nothing permanent. I could see... I, th I think it'd be really fun to do that with, like, your favorite weapon. And, like... Mm -mm. Less casual players would do that with, like, um, maybe, like, their set of five, right? Like, maybe a sledgehammer, uh, a fire weapon, an ice weapon, a lightning weapon, their most damaging weapon. Um, make sure one of them's a spear for, like, bats and stolfos. Like, have, like, the set that's, like, I have a tool for each thing, right? Um. Yeah. And then... Um, and then like the you know the hundred percenters they would be like I'm going to make 27 weapons locked <sighs> maybe make it oh, have yeah. like a scaling price so like <sighs> the first time is one heart the second time is three hearts so that like you can't just have you can't just lock everything right yeah but it would be a late game thing. It would be a late game thing that like most players would not find until the very end. And if you mm -hmm. rushed it, it would be like that should have been the Korok reward because I did that in Breath of the Wild mm -hmm. One. I didn't do that in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Understandable. Nine hundred and one thousand. Uh, well, I was planning on doing it. Yeah, I was planning on doing it, and then I just like fell off and was playing other games. Mhm. Mm you know how I said I didn't beat uh, Skyward Sword. Um, mm -hmm. I did the same thing with Breath of the Wild four times. I have beaten it. On my fifth time, I beat it. But the first time I beat it, I did 80 shrines, and then I put it down for two months. And when I picked it back up, I was like, I never beat this. Well, I don't remember where I was, so I'll just restart. It'll be fun. And I did the same oh, exact thing. I did like 90 shrines, put it down because some other game came out, didn't play for like a year. Started playing again. Um, this time I focused on... I wanted to do a no teleport run. I wanted to learn horses. And so I focused a lot of time and energy on getting like a really fast horse. And then just running to every point. And I got like 60 shrines. But I didn't teleport once. And by 60 shrines I was like, I am ready to do other things. Um, <laughs> the fourth time I was playing on my work lunch breaks and I restarted and then mm -hmm. I took a break for Pokemon Let's Go. Um, and when I came back, I was just like, ah, eh, I don't remember where it was. And then in, <laughs> I don't remember when it was. I want to say 2021. That's a wild take. <laughs> I know. In Putting down Breath of the Wild for Let's Go. That's that's something I've never heard. Well, everybody was playing it, right? And I wanted to play whatever mm -hmm. else was. Um. Uh, the the big freeze happens in Texas, and I lost power for two weeks. I would go to work, charge my charge my thing, and then go home. And I think at this point, I was like, okay, I need to. I need to beat this fucking game. Because I literally haven't. I've put like 400 hours into it and not beaten it. Mm -hmm. So I was, I like literally had a map up on my phone, which I didn't have a way to charge. So I'd like open up the map, uh, bring my phone back into sleep mode. And then I would run like a beeline to the different shrines. 
I did all 120. I did every side quest, and then I beat the game. I made sure to have the Master Sword before doing any Divine Beasts. See the optional dialogues. Um, mm -hmm. alternate dialogues. And I, I did not do all the Koroks. I've never done that. I can confidently say I will never do <laughs> I that. I don't recommend it. Yeah. I it's... don't recommend it. I did all the, the fun stuff. Um, I would get to play for like eight or nine hours. And then I would go to my office, which was across the street. Charge my phone. Charge my switch. Work for like an hour. Log that in the work time and then go home and get under the cover get under the covers and play uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so I can say... Oh, I also did this on Master Mode. Um, Master Mode's fun. I like all the extra stuff. I feel like they should have just put that in the base game. I do too. But I also think it just worked out for them. Hi, Glabble. Um, hi, Nanoda. It... It was really cool. It's just one of those things where, like, monetization-wise, it works for them. Like, it should have been in the base game, yeah. but, like, it's really hard to tell a company, like, yeah, you shouldn't have made an extra $30 for those two DLCs. That should have just been given to us. And it's like, well, we like an extra $30 from 20 oh million players. It's 50 so million true. players. <laughs> Jin Kazuma. <laughs> Artifacts at least gave you tips. Constantly told you where they were. Wind Waker? Good luck, noob. They gave you a map for Isu! Huh? Wind Waker's so bad I never played you it You had to do all the maps for Tingle. Tingle. For five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, you got clues for all of them. You just had to go back to Tingles, like the Tingle game and grind. But they, uh, they removed that in, uh, Wind Waker HD. God, that was such a good decision. <laughs> Yeah, because it just ruined the endgame pacing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were having fun, like, progressing in Zelda, <laughs> and you're right at the very end of the game, you're ready to go kick this guy's ass? Okay, let's put in the most annoying grind we've ever put in one of our games. Have you ever seen the actual worst grind in a Legend of Zelda game? Uh, for which game? It's in Minish Cap. This guy did, like, a 30-minute YouTube video. <laughs> oh, you... You talking about like Keystone or uh, what the fuck is it? Keystone merging? What the fuck? It's the. I don't remember if it's it's not figurines because that was Wind Waker, but it's like you had to get maybe it was figurines. You had to get like 130 of these things. That's but it was true. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I forgot about the collectibles. Yeah. So by the end, because it's gotcha, you have to like guarantee them, but it gets more and more expensive each time or something. Yep. And so the best way to do it is to farm rupees and then uh or it's like farm this material sell it for rupees guarantee the gotcha roll but this this one singular grind is like 80 or 120 hours it's just like jesus dude mm -hmm. and the reward is a piece of heart <sighs> yep I forgot. I didn't. I didn't 100% Minish Cap either. I think the only ones I didn't were Minish Cap and then Tears of the Kingdom. Now. That one is rough. I've never played Wind Waker. My like favorite Kingdom. one that you can no longer play, unfortunately. I loved it because I knew you were just playing with like children online. Was Triforce uh, Heroes, the um, mm. 3DS one, mm -hmm. <sighs> it, and it was like <laughs> it, it was. <laughs> It was like put in like some kind of mental torture chamber because you had like little stickers to like try and like give hints to your, your fellow links on what to do because you went in and it was groups of three and you're just like sitting there spamming it and you're like <laughs> watching an AI try to put like a ball <laughs> in a hole and it's just it, it, oh, no. it was horrible. You and your shark needs water. You and your shark is out of the water. He's fine. <laughs> a grind less than 500 hours? Not Mon Hun material. God, I'm so ready for Wilds. Like... I do want to play Wilds. Monster Hunter keeps doing cool stuff. Like, they've got the really cool bargain on World and Rise right now. And I'm going mm -hmm. around telling people about it, right? Like, hey, have you seen this deal? 
And they're in the same boat as me, where I was like, well, that's great. I have all four games. Or two games and the two DLCs. And I'm like, yeah, me too. And like, uh... The, my problem is, is that like I got in the world and it's just like, blah. Mm. I hate all the arbitrary things that like keep multiplayer from being like streamlined. So yeah. I hope they fix that. And wilds. Hi, Michael. Because okay. like, is it's like you know my friends like yeah let's play and then I I can only imagine how like awful it is for them. We're just like disjointed, fifteen minutes at a time. They just have to sit there on their butt and like scroll Twitter and look at Discord while they wait for me to do like some arbitrary mission story cutscene. So I've gotten a lot of people into Monster Hunter and like it's usually through Monster Hunter World. The way I do it is I have a character that um my main character that has loadouts for rarity 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 like all the way up to whatever max <laughs> is. And I don't, I don't gear myself past them and I will, I'll be, like, leveling up a weapon, weapon alongside them so that I can, like, mm -hmm. be learning uh, something new. So I'm not, like, you know, even though I'm in best gear, I'm not, like, fucking let me solo her and just fucking <laughs> clearly <laughs> annihilating every yeah. monster. Um, I'm fucking getting smacked around just as much, if not more, than them. And so they'll do a quest. Well, I've already got the quest done. So as soon as they get the thing where it's like, you can now join, I'm, like, joining them. And I'm like, stay alive, mm -hmm. I'm on my way! And then I come and get smacked by a tail swipe. And they're like, wow, this is my reinforcements. <laughs> um, a lot of the time it's been somebody who's streaming. And so, like, it's very easy to be entertained while I'm waiting on them, right? Um, mm -hmm. They'll be streaming. And I'm either just watching them, you know, watching them run around a new map for the first time. Or, like, reacting to a monster. Um, or... I'm policing the lobby. Because I'm a big, like, stickler that, like... Monster Hunter does a really good job at making you feel cool. Um, mm -hmm. It's like... Monster Hunter is very overwhelming, and you don't know what you're doing when you first try it. But then you have that moment. You have that moment where you've been learning these moves, and you do it right, and it's like right when the monster's at a breakpoint to fall over, and it knocks them down, and you're like... I feel like a fucking badass. I want more of this. The first time you do a helm splitter on a longsword and the monster just fucking topples from it, you're like, oh <laughs> my god, let's go! And like, shit like that is what makes Monster Hunters fans fans for life. And so, I do everything I can to like fish for a moment like that for my friends that are playing for the first time. And so I will never... I will never let anyone, like, deteriorate the experience. So, like, especially when people are streaming. People will, like, they're like, oh, you're playing Monster Hunter? I love this game. I want to come in and, like, play with you. And I set the rule. I'm always like, you cannot have a piece of gear that outranks the, the new player. So if they're in rarity one weapon... Two rarity one armors, three rarity two armors, mm -hmm. and rarity one charm. You can have the same number of rarity two armors. And I've kind of gotten lax in it just to make it simpler for people. I'm going to be like, they have three rarity two pieces. You can have three rarity two pieces. Everything else better be you rarity one. Uh, uh, I don't mm -hmm. care if it's the weapon. It doesn't make that much of a difference. But you cannot, like, overall have a better item level than the new player. And people come in and they'll be like, I've got full defender. I'm like, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> um, what people will do is they'll come in with their, like, max gear. And they're like, we're going to have... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show off. And I'm like, I'm going to fucking kick you from the lobby. <laughs> and they're like, okay, okay. I won't, I won't carry. I won't destroy it. And they'll switch to, like, rarity 14 full support. And they're planning to just, like, stand there. And if the new player gets hit, even once, they're just like, I got you, a full heal you. And it's like, have you ever played that God Mode? Runs up. Have you ever played God Mode in GTA? How long was that fun? Why are you doing this then? And they're like, oh, I guess that makes sense. It's, it's just a game that people are passionate about. 
And they don't think about stuff like mm -hmm. that. And to be fair, you know, who the fuck thinks about stuff like that before experiencing it? Um, they wanted to be helpful. It's just, you know, after you've seen what it does to somebody, you avoid it like the plague, right? And so I'm policing, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm policing their item levels like shit to the point that <clears throat> two communities just fucking hated me for a bit because they thought I was so annoying. But then, like, the streamer just becomes a diehard monster hunter fan. One of them's fucking better than me at the game now. Much to my dismay. That's funny. And, like, I don't need to police them. People could just come in and play. And they're not going to be better oh. than the streamer. Oh. <sighs> mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. You said I, I had a lot of went, fun oh, with um I thought there three. was uh, no, I was just thinking I had a lot of fun with three ultimate, and that was mm. like totally solo. It's just like underwater fights killed it for me on like really? D pad slash thumb pad. Because mm. it's on I didn't have it on Wii U, I had it on three DS, so oh. it was the D pad with like the thumbstick. And it was really awkward camera controls. It was the same thing. Did you ever play Kid Icarus Uprising? I did not. Like that game has the most weird, horrible to learn, unfriendly control scheme. Mm -hmm. But like, once you get into it, you're like, this is the best game ever. Mm -hmm. I, but like... I played Tri-U on the Wii U. And so like, the, the underwater really wasn't that big of a deal for me. It wasn't like, oh, I can't wait to go in the water. Cause I was like, I was gonna be slower and harder to dodge. But to me, it was the same as like, mm -hmm wading in the muck in the deep forest. Um, and so I didn't mind it. But having underwater meant we got Logiacris, which is my favorite monster. And now we don't mm -hmm. have Logiacris for like 10 or 15 years. And everybody's like, water was the worst thing ever. I hate it. And Mo Capcom's like, well, we'll never add water again. Well, I guess we'll never add Loggy again. And I'm like, no, my baby. <laughs> Also, hi, Eulen. Fuck you, too. <laughs> Eulen, can you say what's up, Deadbeats? Let me use the restroom real quick. Let's okay. See. I don't know the reference that I'm supposed to say it like. What's up, Deadbeats? I feel like I just ruined that. Gonna pick up the best Pokemon game, Monster Hunter Stories? I have played Monster Hunter Stories. Oh, God. I didn't finish that one also. I'm glad Kyro's not here to hear that. Speaking of Yulin Smack, did Yulin ever spank her butt? I may have done that when asked to do that in a specific thing. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I did. Longsword mentioned. Defender Guardian. <laughs> Yulin Toxic not letting people enjoy their power fantasy in hard-earned gear. You're so wrong for that, Farisu. Elon Subnautica is a beach map? No, it's not. Oh my god, that's very close to people I... in chat being super hyper and telling everything about the game when the title says first playthrough. The problem is air. It's passion. They get really excited and are just so happy to talk about one of their favorite games. And most of the time, they don't mean to spoil. They're just stupid. <laughs> Lovable, but stupid. And there are certain franchises that have worse fan bases than others. Undertale, uh, Monster Hunter, um, what are some others? Pokemon can be kind of gnarly. They just, they just don't think. They're just, it's passion and excitement getting ahead of them. <laughs> you want me to talk about ease for four hours, huh, huh? I'm someone that's okay with spoilers. But I already get to hear you talk about it for hours. <sighs> First time playing Warframe. Warframe is one. Warframe, the community can be fucking awful. And they'll be like... For anybody that doesn't know, there is a big spoiler quest in Warframe. Warframe came out in, like, 2013. And in 2016, it came out with a story mission that like adds 
story. It, like, didn't have story before this. And it adds this twist to the story that's, like, fucking insane. And if you'd been playing for three years, it answers a major question that you had. And so when introducing new players to it, everybody wants to know, have they seen the second dream quest? Do they know about redacted, redacted, and redacted? And they, like... It's like, hey, motherfucker, do you not realize that you just said Snape kills Dumbledore in your fucking question about have they seen that Snape kills Dumbledore? Oh my god, it's so... It's so mind-numbing. But it doesn't come from a place of maliciousness. It comes from a place of, like, they're just excited. I learned the control scheme for of the PSP Monhun games. Honestly, I was amazed how gross 4 felt in the 3DS layout. You swap the stick in the D-pad and all of a sudden it becomes stinky? Mmm. -hmm. Japan listening to Twitter. First time playing Warframe, get the Giga Sweats in there carrying with their meta Saren builds. The problem I have for Isu, they'll come in with like Mirage or Saren. And it's like, hey, don't carry. We want to play the game. And they're like, oh, okay, I'll play support. And they'll switch to Trinity and give like a 3k overshield to the player. And it's like, hey, um, I don't know if you noticed this, but the streamer is no longer playing the game. They are standing out in the open, slowly aiming at everyone without a care in the fucking world and just like shooting things lazily in the shoulder or head because there's no risk. And they're in god mode and they get fucking bored and they're like, yeah, this game sucks. And it's like, well, what didn't you like about it? And they're like, the grind. And you're like, well, the grind is fun. That's the point of Warframe. It's a collectathon, but the grind is fun. You're a cool space ninja. And they're like, no, it's not. I just stood there. And it's like, oh, shit. So anytime somebody, like, switches to a rank 30 frame and, like, has it mod out, when I get people into Warframe, I tell them, no mods. If you're playing with a new player, no fucking mods. And they're like, dude, how do you play this game with mods? And I'm like, figure it out. You're mastery rank 28. You can you can do it. Figure it the fuck out. I don't care. And they're like, well, I'm just going to die and not have fun. And I'm like, it's not about you. This is an argument I've had so many fucking times. Oh, my God. I'm getting, like, PTSD from arguments I've had over this. <sighs> what the fuck you talking about, Flat Cali? There's the ocean, there is land, there is beaches where they meet. What? Nah, best Pokemon game is Power World. Ah. Uh, it's a toss up. The best Pokemon game in the last 10 years is either Monster Hunter Stories 2 or Power World. Both of them have Both of them have a solid argument for it. Oh shit, you right. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? Spoilered. <laughs> Catches leash to Yulin's collar. Gives leash to left person. I'm okay with that. Sun would be nice with it. Why can't people just not be weird in Warframe? I'm always like, do you want spoilers? You're getting banned. <sighs> I watch low fam and they don't even get to play. That's lame, I just don't kill anything and jump around like a dum-dum. And exist purely to res? Oh god. Hi, Etsuko. I, I am still fuming, Etsuko. I'm not actually fuming. But I cannot believe you roasted me that hard when you're like, this is what it's like playing Minecraft as Euland. Five minutes of fucking horror music. Fucking whipping your camera around the cave, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, but. Oh. <laughs> God, it was funny. So Warframe is Monhun, but twice as worse? It's it's about the same. The other thing that happens in Warframe is if people stream it, people are like, let me give you every prime Warframe. And it's like, do you not understand the point of this game is the grind and earning this stuff? You are do you not remember that feeling of grinding out your first prime? Waiting 72 hours for it and using it? That sense of like, I did this. 
They want the real new player in Warframe experience? I'm about to use the elevators one sec before they're there. I'll be the first person at the extraction going, huh? <laughs> oh god. I need to skedaddle by. Bye, Air. Thank you for stopping by. Ah. Captain. It's just new for you. There's like one or two other people that are new on the Minecraft server. Unfortunately, Bits is in Houston. And they're, they do not have power right now. So, they do have internet. And they're able to get their phone charged now and then. So if you guys want to be nice to Bits, send him some love on Discord. Send him cute pictures of stuff that he likes. He should hopefully... He was hoping to get it today. I'm also hoping he has power today. But we will see. It all settles down and becomes peaceful for you in time. Good morning, Black Mage. Ah, uh, yes, the storm. For me, Etsuko, I was a freshman in college when Minecraft came out. And I was way into housing and rift. And so I knew... I knew that Minecraft was like infinite creativity because it's literally just building blocks. It's just Legos. And so I knew that if I got into that when I was in college, I was going to drop out of college. So I avoided it like the plague. All my friends were trying to get me to play and I was just like, nope, absolutely not. And when I did finally try it in 2018, it was very difficult because all of my friends were like walking encyclopedias of Minecraft. Like day one, they're making iron golem farms. They've got elytras, which I've never even seen in Minecraft. The ender dragon has been killed. Like, I have no idea what's going on. I'm sitting there like mining dirt with a pickaxe and like, making my fourth gravel pickaxe just like, man, these things break all the time. When am I going to find diamonds? I think that's next, right? <laughs> that was me, my <laughs> first time playing Minecraft. And admittedly, they were offering to help, but I was like, no, I don't want to be treated like a baby. I'm going to run off 30 minutes this direction, and then, I, then I'm going to learn on my own. But I was not fucking learning fast enough. And so after like a week of like... <laughs> I wanted to build a tower with black cement. So I was killing squids. But I didn't know about like squid farms. So me killing squids... Meant running out... Uh, into the middle of nowhere. To, to the ocean. Killing about five squids. Then it was getting dark. So I would go back to my home and sleep. Wait, I thought I re-uploaded this video. God damn it. Ah. <laughs> you got shot by a little door. I so did. Fun. I thought I re-uploaded <laughs> this video. I... Mm. That's fine. Maybe I just re-edited it and didn't re-upload it. Ah. That's the way I feel about BFA. The way you feel about WAD. Holy, these beaches in BFA land are giving me PTSD of the Wounds Champion. Uh, no. Because I think WAD was like mid, below mid. And we both think BFA is trash. Um. I don't think WAD was thought, the like, worst thing. I thought your faction questing in BFA was cool, but man, I hated the war campaign stuff. It was just, like, so boring. I liked it at first. I liked it where it was, like, you have to unlock strongholds in the other continent. That was really mm -hmm. fucking cool to me. But everything after that, I was just like, oh, why? Ugh. It just felt like a diet version of, like, what you would have gotten playing, like, the other faction mm -hmm. on that continent. Ah, uh, Fufu, very smart. It was one of the most responsible things I have ever done. New player, I'ma ruin their day. Ah, yes, the storm. I'm okay with doing vaulted relics with new players. They will quite literally never get those. I'm okay with that, too. It's the fact that they literally have to do the relic. 
But like, people, pe I got Core into Warframe. And she streams it and people are like, oh, the new Prime Frame is this, let me give it to you. And I'm sitting there in chat going, no, no, no. And Core's sitting there going, you and just said I'm not allowed to get anything. So no. Um, we did tell her, pick one Warframe and we will give it to you. Uh, not a Prime, just a base Warframe, pick one. And I think, I don't remember if she picked Valkyrie or something. Um, but she picked one and we got that for her. Just to get her, like, onto something better than Mag or Excalibur or Volt at the time. Which aren't bad frames. I just wanted to, like, give her first pick of the roster or something that seems cool. Because I had the problem when I started where it was like, I'm not really interested in any of these frames. I want the Poison Lady now. Um, but people were just like, well, let me give you this prime, let me give you this prime, and just constantly, like, trying to trade her. And I remember, like, three or four days in, we grinded a prime warfare, because there were two she wanted. So we gave her the, her first pick. She might have picked Zephyr. I think she might have wanted prime Zephyr. And so we went and grinded Zephyr Prime. And she got the pieces... She made the three pieces, and she was like, cool, I have it. And we're like, well, almost. She goes to the foundry, and she's like, wait, I have to make it for 72 hours? And we were like, yeah. And she's like, oh my god, this is the worst monetization ever. And we were like, but it's free. And she's like, yeah, but I have to wait 72 hours now. And we're like, no. You can do anything else. You can still do everything else in the game. You can even make... A new Warframe. And she was like, oh, okay. And then three days later, she's having fun. That gets made. And she's like, oh my god, this was so hard not to buy. And then, like, after that, she was like, I love this feeling <laughs> of getting a thing new and getting to try it. Nobody buys me anything. If you want to buy me something, you can buy me a Roomba. And so <laughs> they would try to, like, buy her Prime sets. She'd say, no, you can get me Roombas. And then they'd get her a five-pack of Roombas. And now she has, like, 160 Roombas that she put on her ceiling. So she loads into her orbiter. And just 160 Roombas just go... <laughs> and they just spread out across her floor. 800 Roombas later. Wait, isn't it four pieces? There's the blueprint. And then three pieces. You don't have to make the blueprint. But you still need it to drop. So there's three pieces you have to make, and then you have to put all four pieces, the three pieces in the blueprint together. Are you asking to be actively trolled? Ah, I miss bits. Elon's a walking encyclopedia for a while. Gets mad at friends for learning another game. Yes, I'm putting words in their mouth. Fuck you. EFA is so bad in time gated, more grinding than any other expansion. Holy Garbo, and then they added corruption. Giving Glaive Prime to a new player is a ridiculous, horrible idea. Or any Prime Warframes, or just top tier items in general early on. Agreed. 800 Roombas later based. I never played PS Universe. I didn't even know it existed. I thought we went from PS. Oh episode... yeah, Universe was big. I thought we went from Episode One and Two to PSO Two, <laughs> and I was like, "Wait, the biggest there's like thing about... a bunch of games between." The biggest thing about PSU that a lot of people that played 360 actually played PSU because it had a free demo mm. on Xbox that was like up to level 20. So it was the entire game up to level 20. Damn. And you could just like download it and play it. So there were so many people that literally just played the free trial. Because mm -hmm. on top damn. of your Xbox, you you had to pay like a sub. It was the same thing for uh, PlayStation. You had to pay mm. the sub. So you oh, had to pay for... Well, I don't think you had to pay for gold. Like I think you could have been silver, but like you're on an Xbox. So you're going to be playing things other than PSU. So. Mm -hmm. 
You're basically I paying like $30 a month. Willie was the satisfactory friend I was mentioning the other day. Or is me, them, and sis. <laughs> and sis was like, I got a friend that would love to teach you satisfactory, so let's play with them. And then as soon as they learned, they started harassing me by building stuff under the floors and sky bridges and stuff going through each other and they'd hide it from me. I got to the point where I was just like, I don't want to know. And they'd be like, Eulen, you want to come look at my factory? No. Does it get us the heavy motors we need? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Willie was smart though. Willie got to the point where he was fucking correcting my stuff. He'd come check out my stuff and he'd be like, Eulen, I think your math is off here. There is no way my math is... All right, good catch, Willie. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm like sitting there so prideful, just like, <laughs> fuck! Damn it! Uh, universe has my favorite race. What is your favorite race, Lost oh, One? Oh, you, you like Beast? Beast is cool. Is it not in PSO2? No, it's not. There was basically a um, race that was called Beast. And they had, uh, their racial was they had an install where they would just like turn into like a giant monster guy and just beat ass. Mm. <sighs> it was really cool. But I, that's, that's the one thing I kind of don't like about PSO2 in a way that they kind of like remove the racials. Cause that was a lot of the fun of like, um, other fantasy stars where like, if you're a cast, you're the only one who can see traps. I you like... know, if you're a cast, you can't use magic, though. I like Humans the are kind of like the all-around like good that. one. But like in PSO2, I, I wanted to play a cast, and then I wanted to play a force. And it was like, man, I can't fucking do this. Ugh. It makes sense. No. <laughs> but like, I wanted, I that was like my favorite race, and the class I wanted to play, it didn't work out. I like the scene trap stuff. But like, in PSO2... I think you either need to go hard with it or not at all. In PSO2, where it was just stats, I think it was just stats, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was just stats. That felt bad. <sighs> oh my goodness! I don't know why my foot's off by so much. I did some warframe <laughs> from start to using Tord and Karnan with her over the course of two months. Now she is endgame. Hmm. -mm. I do respect your moderation style. I'm still hunting, though. You notice that's my favorite race. PSU had the sick Android girls, and the Android dudes are literally Gundam. I mean, that's just all. PSO. Oh yeah, yeah. The the female cast customization was a lot better in PSU. Mm. Cause like in PSO2, they were kind of just like anime girls. Yeah. But like they were like female Gundams the way the male casts are like Gundams. That is something that my friend Foss and I have complained about a lot. Is that the robot faces? for the girls are just, they're just anime girls. They're just cute anime girls. And it's like, yeah. give me robot no, hair. In, no, in PSU, they're like actual like mecha girls. Mm. Like the way that the cat, like the male casts are. We I recommend PSU. There's, there's, a good pri there's a good private server for it if that's ever on your MMO, like try it out list. I, there's a lot of things that I would like to play, but like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm in such a, like, content creator brain that it's like, I'm either playing a game to play mm. with friends or for content creation. Oh. You could appeal to all three Fantasy <laughs> Star Universe fans, Eulen. Oh, God. I have, I have actually been trying <laughs> to get Core to play PSO Episode 1 and 2 on a private server. Because I feel like it'd be a pretty mm -hmm. short playthrough to just, like, go through on, like, normal mode. Knowing <sighs> her... She's gonna want to go through ultimate, which is gonna be like, okay, that's that's a little bit of a grind. Maybe, maybe we don't do all that. But I want her to see the old PSO, cause that's that's my fucking middle school. That entails a symphonia. Oh, OG, OG's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huh? I think it still stands up today. We are it's just here. like you get a lot of people like, I don't like this game. This game's old, even though like the core design's really good. Mm -hmm. It's just like a little clunky. It's clunky, it's but like, like I had a friend recently. It came out on the Dreamcast, right? right? So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it is. 
Yeah, I had a friend recently that tried to tell me that Resident Evil 1, they tried to play it and they're like, oh, I don't like this, this is bad. I'm like, why is it bad? They're like, I don't like the controls. I'm like, the game's from like 97. <laughs> what do you want from it? <laughs> I, I understand both sides, right? Because on one hand, it's completely ridiculous to expect the best game feel from a game from over 20 years ago. Like, it's just not going to happen. At the same time, I understand stuff being so disjointed. It's like, I can't have fun with this. I can't go back. Mm -hmm. That's how I was with yeah. Generations Ultimate. I played World. Then I got Generations Ultimate and I went back. And I remember, like, I bent over to pick up an herb for five seconds. And I was like, nope. Good lord, fuck this. I don't wanna. And, like... Technically, I think I did, like, 10 or 20 monster hunts in Generations Ultimate, but <laughs> it's just so... It's just the end of an era. The end of a generation. Of oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And World world changed Back the game. Back on OG PSP. Mm-hmm. Um, because it was the same way when I played on... Oh, go ahead. I can just see PSO Episode 1 and 2 being the same for somebody, or Silent Hill 1, where it's just like... Good lord. It's so bad. I watched... Oh, bro... I watched no way someone says that about Silent Hill. <laughs> I thought that was the one that you said. Resident Evil one, not Silent Hill. Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. Okay. Um, I saw somebody play Mega Man Legends again recently, which I fucking mm. love that game. But, like, watching them play it again, it's tank controls. And it's like, oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. that looks not fun. <laughs> That's what, I think a lot of like GBA stuff stands the test of time because it wasn't mm. trying to be overly ambitious because like a lot of PSP games are like we're a fully 3D game but you still have to aim with a fucking D-pad <laughs> it's like Jesus Christ this is awful but yeah. like a lot of GBA games are kind of in that spot of where it's like we're just SNES games but portable yeah oh we are here for anime girls not Gundam <laughs> girls Barisu we are here for options I want the person next to me to be an anime girl, and me be a hot Gundam girl. That's what I want. God, I love PSU. Hop on PSU. Hi, honey. Hi, Dee Dee. Uh, uh, we're at 2.2 miles. Uh, I realized in my life less than 50 people ever played PSU. So I played PSU Episode 1 and 2. My guild leader in WoW played PSU. And, uh... When we were watching... I think it was the E3 awards with the guild. We're all watching the games. Um... And we saw the... PSO2 trailer. Not the one for being localized. But just like... You know, hey, PSO2 is a thing. We both saw the fucking shoulder pad like two seconds in. And we were squealing like little girls. And that was when we learned, you played PSO? I played PSU? What's PSO? <laughs> God damn it. And we're like just explaining to each other <laughs> the games we played <clears throat> and how excited we were. And then our hearts were broken when it didn't come out for seven fucking years. <laughs> honey, wa, I have no honey. You are the honey. <sighs> Yeah, now the the private server for PSC is really good because they like mm. I'm actually in the Discord and they constantly do like updates and they'll do like little events and they'll like increase like the drop rates on things and stuff oh, like that. Cool. So it's like a very active community. It's not just like plop here's server, you know. Yeah. They actually like put effort into it. That's cool. Uh, my which, which I feel like is the problem with a lot of oh go ahead. My PSO experience right now is I play NGS. I do my dailies in the morning. <laughs> I keep my gear moderately up to date. And I make cute outfits when a scratch drops. There was nothing good in this most recent scratch. I have my million. What, what were the red scratch tickets? Like the free ones? What the hell are those? The special scratch? The that's special like scratch? The, the, that everybody this has pool never changes over. and you have like a million of the tickets? Yeah. They do an anniversary event where you can do 10 free scratches at a time. So you get your one yeah. free scratch and then the ten free scratch. And I'm like, Pog, I'm going to get some cool shit. Everything I already own, I'm just like, oh, right. Of course. The thing is, though, 
anybody, if you want to play a game with great character customization and you play a man, yeah. play PSO2 NGS. It is <laughs> the most free-to-play cosplay game you'll ever play in your life. So because I think maybe 5% of the NGS population plays male. So when people roll on the gotcha, they immediately sell that shit. And it is like dirt cheap. It is like maybe a one fiftieth the price of female stuff. It's incredible. Unironically. I have I have one outfit. I have I have like two or three outfits that are really fucking good for a femboy. There's one that like <laughs> stands above the rest. Hi bits! Are you back? Do you have power? I played PSO1 briefly, PSU. I was hyped for the localization of PSO2. But we ended up not getting it for literally like a decade or something. Twitch, baby. Greetings, you and the Formidable. Most people pl Hi, Wrath. I was gonna say, most people played the JP version of PSO2. Which I thought was really funny at the time when like, they finally made the English version. Mm -hmm. And Xbox had it for like, two or three months beforehand. Yeah. And obviously... <laughs> Mm -hmm. New MMO comes out, they all go to ship one. Because, yeah. you know, it's just logical. You fill up the first server. And then the second it came to PC, everyone that was a long-term JP player, well, on the JP servers, the English speakers took over the second ship because the first ship was the Japanese one. And so all the English speakers just took over the second one. Mm -hmm. And so when they all came over to the English version, they're like, oh, well, we're going to go on ship two. I remember reading on like Twitter and Reddit, etc. Xbox people being like, "What the? Why is why is the population on the second server like five <laughs> times the first server? This is stupid." <laughs> I I was trying to coordinate what server everybody was on, and we had like the downloads so we could see the server list, but we couldn't like play right. And so I was telling people like, "Ship five, let's all play ship five. I think the I like the first group I asked, mm -hmm. they were ship five. And everyone else, I was like, we're going ship five. And they'd be like, we're on ship three. I was like, this, 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 and this group are on ship five. And they'd be like, okay, ship five. And then ship five was like, we don't need it. We've only got four. And it was like, fuck. And so I was going around, did you make characters yet? And they're like, yeah, we're on ship three. Yeah, we're on ship one. Yeah, we're on ship two. I was like, no. Oh, fuck me. I knew. I told. I told all my friends. I'm like, because I got. I, I. I was getting people on the JP for a long time. Like I would help. The big. The big barrier of playing on JP that a lot of people struggle with is that you had to do a capture that was in like katakana. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I got you, homie. <laughs> I got you. And I would help people get in. Uh, I couldn't tell you, Wrath. Hi, space fish. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, am I louder than Yuland? Um, it's Yuland probably just needs unreal. to lower me then. Uh, I, you can lower me if you want. This is news to me, because I'm like, are they? We're at day 304 and no one said anything? Huh? Yuland, they added Tenet Glaxian and it's amazing. I don't even know what a Glaxian is. But yay, I'm happy for you. Ship 5 got obliterated. Yeah. Galaxian, like that game before Galaga? I'm sorry, that's that's very old. <laughs> it's like older than old. I'm louder than you and space fish more like cutie fish. Ice beam that splits the four enemies in Warframe? Wait! That's exactly what my main gun does. Now I want it! I have one of the um the kit guns that shoots like tentacles. And then it spreads out to other enemies. And I was like, I want a gun I don't have to fucking aim. <laughs> so I built the shit out of this thing. My goodness is the cute one. Vermisplicer? I believe that's it. Yeah. I love that gun. I love anything I don't have to fucking aim with. <sighs> Cairo, have you played Rabbit and Steel? I have not. Oh. I didn't get to watch you play either, unfortunately. What kind That's of game so is fun. it? So, people fall into two categories. They either call it like Final Fantasy XIV, or they call it like Toho. <laughs> Basically, imagine Toho, but you have four abilities that you have to do like a rotation with. You've got primary, secondary, special, and then defensive. Um. 
the movement, it's 2D, and the movement is very much like Toho. Um, you nailed both sides that I called it. I think it's fair to call it both sides. My problem, Etsuko, is when people are like, Oh, it's like 2D Final Fantasy XIV rating. And it's like, oh, so it's like a bullet hill like Toho. Uh, uh, I don't really think it's like Toho at all. And I'm like, I'm going to fucking slap you. Um, imagine Toho, but with like Final Fantasy XIV raid mechanics. Two people get linked and they have to stay together. Uh, all four players get a marker on them that's like spread out and you have to move away from mm -hmm. each other. Stuff like that. Have they not played Toho before? I'm, That's what I think. I'm it's, watching the trailer. It's so fun. It's... It is very much like... Risk of Rain 2 in my eyes. I don't know if I describe eyes. it as Toho, though. It is... Toho is <laughs> being the right spot to not get hit. And that is very much what... Uh, Rabbit and Steel. I would just say a shmup. A what? A shoot him up. A shmup. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I... Like, you know, a shmup like uh, Gradius mm. or Toho or, you know, Galaga or any of those kind of old. Yeah. Flat plane. Would, would you think more people know what Toho is than a shmup? Because for me, I definitely am like, what the hell is a shmup? Um... I don't even know what the acronym is. Shoot him up? I would, I would, yeah, bullet hell. Uh, yeah, I'd say bullet hell is a lot more well known than Toho. Mm. Okay. Uh. Do you know how to do Sisters of Parvos? I actually don't. I haven't done a single Sister of Parvos. Elin non aimer confirmed. Morning, boss. You nailed both sides that I called it. Toho project like Toby Fox. Good morning, Vitz. Uh. Is it? It is Toho, but with FF Raid mechanics, easy. Have they not played Toho? Probably not. Toho isn't as well-known as we'd think. I mean... I, Toho is one of those <laughs> things that, like, you say, Oh, Toho is no a bullet hell. It's it. a game. And they're like, wait, I thought it was an anime. A game. And, and then a third person goes, I thought it was no. born. <sighs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, no, I played Toho 8. And I'm like, this is, like, all right. Mm -hmm. Isn't I Toho... I forget the actual name. Just a soundtrack with a game attached. Oh, Bullet Hell, Toho is Bullet Hell, <laughs> and Maka Bullet Hell. Okay. Um, yeah, I know. There's so many Toho fan games, too. There's, like, fighting games. I know there's, like, a Mario Kart ripoff. It, it would be very easy to, like, know the Toho name and not know what it actually is from. So, with Rabbit and Steel, you have these, like, rotations to do DPS. And, like, even with no items, there is a correct rotation. So, like, if you are playing... Dancer. Mm -hmm. Um, if you use your primary, it's a slash across you. So if you're like below an enemy, it won't hit. And it hits for like I don't know, let's say fifty damage, which is really small. But it will buff your secondary two times. So your secondary will also hit for like fifty. And this one is a targeted circle on the enemy. Um mm -hmm. but if it's buffed by your primary it will do like 150 damage instead of 50 and your secondary will buff your primary two times so you can't use all of your buffed abilities because you're generating more than you can spend but the big thing is your secondary or your special attack your third one which hits for like 350 but it has like a long cooldown the other two abilities don't have a cooldown but your third one does but both of your other abilities have like a 20 or 30% chance to reset the cooldown on your special. So it's very similar to Dancer from Final Fantasy XIV, where like, you were trying to go between your primary and secondary, and only using abilities that are buffed, but if you ever get a reset, you want to use your special. That, while doing a bullet hell in Final Fantasy XIV mechanics. You can build that mm -hmm. to like, buff up your special even more. You can make it so that your special, like, has a longer cooldown, but hits even harder. But that doesn't matter because you're resetting the cooldown anyway, so you're just getting more damage out of it. My friend Safi, who is really good at Dancer, they were getting uh, specials that were hitting for, like, 10,000 at one point. Um, mm. You could say, I don't like the whole reset or buff system at all. 
I'm just going to like buff up this ability and make it even better and focus on that and kind of just do away with the rotation entirely. Um, hmm. You can also like build for support. So your defensive gives you three seconds of invulnerability. It's a 15 second cooldown. And it gives all allies war cry for five seconds, which I think busts their damage by 20%. Well, you can just build around that to reset that cooldown and like increase the immunity time or the damage buff time as much as possible. And so you can play a very low damage version, but if you're playing with three other people, just constantly be buffing them. One of my first rounds, I was playing the Heavy Blade, which their thing mm -hmm. is their, their main attack is a big circle around them that hits pretty hard. Their second is like a, a slash that goes through the air, um, but you have to aim mm -hmm. it, but it buffs your next two primaries. Um, but I had built to just ignore that, just do the primary. I was thinking like, I'm new to bullet hells. I need to just fucking make my damage rotation, literally mm. spam one button while I focus on just running around and dodging stuff, because I cannot handle both. That's that's how you should always play games like that. Never focus on hitting the enemy, always focus on just dodging. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest piece of advice. Well, I was building the heavy, play, the heavy blade to do damage while moving, but ignore the rotation. And so I was buffing the shit out of my, uh, um... My my first. Oh, there's ability. an enrage timer. There, oh, okay. proxies proxies being a sweaty meta loser. That's lunatic mode. That's like the hardest level of difficulty. Um, I haven't even done hard yet. Um, yes, hard I'm mode. That's how to get into it then, proxy. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh. I was buffing up my primary. And so I got, I got two items that played perfectly together. One of them makes my primary hit like 2.5 times as hard, but it gives it a like three times longer cooldown or like a three times longer global mm -hmm. cooldown. But I had an item that reduces all of my global cooldowns to 1.1 seconds. So like I was using a version of my primary that just hits like a fucking truck, but... <laughs> goes out like a machine gun. And then Safi, who was playing Support Dancer, was just buffing me and giving me haste to lower my cooldown even more. So every 15 seconds, for 5 seconds or something, I was just like going turbo mode and just spinning like a Beyblade and doing like 1,500 DPS. Um, mm -mm -mm. That, I, I was actually hating the game. For like the first hour, I was like, I'm just going to refund this because I am not having fun. And then I had that round. I was like, Aww. okay, I get it. I'm having fun. This is cool. Part of it part of it was that Core is a fucking sadist and wants to start on hard mode. And I was like, this is my first bullet hell, please. Um But like that's there's ten characters. And each of them has like a full rotation. Each of them has like mm -hmm. this is what you do for damage. Now, it's also a roguelike. Uh, along the stages, you're going to get items. Um, and you can either, you know, build into support, build into carry. Sometimes you're like, I'm going to build for this set, and it just doesn't happen. And you fucking are trash the whole way through. And sometimes, <laughs> like, you get two items that play together so perfectly that, like those two items is all you needed but mm -hmm. god it's so fun i literally just want to play it more <laughs> i'm a safi i'm upset what happened to them nothing happened to safi global it's just I was so literally much playing good them stuff last night. coming out it's so hard Dude, it's and then i didn't was. realize because um i have pre i had a pre-order the thousand year door remake comes out next week mm -hmm. on like tuesday mm-hmm I'm like, oh my god, I, I have like three games I'm in the middle of playing, and then I'm getting another one. I had... I have the V Rising 1.0 launch, which I'm halfway through on Fenry's server. Bits is doing the Minecraft server for me. 
Mm -hmm. um, World of Warcraft just had mop remix. Rabbit and Steel yeah. just came out, and I'm like, God damn. There's too much. Please slow down. <laughs> So it's the other thing is, I have friends that hound me every time I get in VR chat too. Oh, like, no. eat PU. You've been in that outfit for like a whole month. <laughs> Haven't you thought about getting a new one? No. It's like, okay, fucking fine. And so I spend a whole evening just busting out a new avatar. Good lord, I, I've been in fucking walking in this for like eight months, nine months. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. That's fine. I know. Don't let uh, don't let VR chat players shame you. Mm. I know. Just the thought of it is just like. Oh god, I'd fucking... <laughs> it's, it's more so like, I have the ability to do it, and they know I can do it, and mm -hmm. they go like, you're just being a lazy shit. Make an outfit. You're cute, put on a new outfit. And it's like, okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, I know they're not shit. like, <laughs> really being shitty no, friends No, it's not malicious. Mm -hmm. No, it's just playful teasing. Yeah. <sighs> there is an enrage timer. Um, We have... We have never hit it. Now, most of our stuff was on normal. Um, Roxy's saying on hard mode they have it too. I imagine they have it, but I imagine there's still a lot of you can do what the fuck ever. Lunatic mode is like, mm -hmm. you need to beat this in five minutes. By the time you get to this boss, everybody needs to be doing, I don't know, 700 DPS. Which, I'm still learning the game. Sometimes that seems really hard. Sometimes it's like, I have just gotten shit items. How the fuck am I supposed to be doing 700 by now? Huh? <laughs> My best games. I had that heavy blade match. Where I was just fucking spinning with my primary and doing a million damage. I have also had a match on Druid. Where Druid... They have a primary where... They slow themselves. And they shoot a little bolt at the enemy for like 100 damage. Then they have a ground daily. Mm -hmm that lasts, I think it's like 18 seconds. And it does damage every three seconds, so it'll tick uh, six times. Um, which, for one hmm. input, is a lot of damage over 18 seconds. But like, you can't just rely on that. And then they have a fairy that lasts 12 seconds that they can spawn every six seconds that just, you want two of these out at all times. So the ideal rotation with Druid is Make sure you have two fairies out. Make sure you have the ground AoE on the boss. And then get as many of your primaries out as possible. Well, I had built this thing mm -mm -mm. so that, one, my primary had a reduced global cooldown. It did less damage, but I literally just fired it like twice as fast. Um, <laughs> my uh, fairy uh, had a 30 second cooldown but lasted 30 seconds. So this thing just lasted for fucking ever. And then I got mm -hmm. an item that every um, 10 uses of an ability resets the cooldown on your fairy. So it was just like, oh. drop the fairy, doot, 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 drop another fairy. Yeah. And so I could have like three of these out. I think there were some other items. I got it to a, I had a fairy build where like I got it to a point hi Xanther where I would put a fairy down, I would do a single primary, and then I would drop another fairy down. I think it was a different fairy build <laughs> that lasts like 18 seconds, but it has a six second cooldown. I got an item that reduces my cooldowns by like two seconds. And then my primary would reduce fairy cooldown by two seconds. So it was literally just fairy, primary, fairy, primary, fairy, primary. Mm -hmm. And I would have like six to seven of these fairies down, which they're essentially auto turrets. They literally just stay in there shooting the boss. And so I'm just running around dropping fairies everywhere. And at the end of each stage, I'm doing like 900 to 1,200 DPS. And that felt mm -hmm. fucking awesome when a build comes together like that, because it is a roguelike. Uh, you might not get your build together. Uh, what are we at? Three miles? Three miles exactly? <laughs> oh, I don't have your life today. I restarted my computer last night. 
I forgot to launch that. <sighs> you talking about the new bun game? I am. I didn't want to like it. And, uh... I tried it. <laughs> you didn't say you didn't want to like it. I, oh my goodness. I didn't. I was like, I got other stuff to do. I don't need this. Oh, okay, mister. I don't want to get into it. And everyone's like, play it. It's so good. I'm like, it's whatever. I don't want to play sweaty for Final Fantasy XIV mechanics with people and get yelled at. And then I played it. I'm just like, this is all I want to do. Oh, this is, this is, pretty, this is pretty good. Wow. I told Bits, because Bits was the one that was like, you got to get this. It's so good. And I told him this morning, I was like, how are you doing? You got power? And he's like, nope. Hoping to get it today. And I was like, I hate how right you were about Rabbit and Steel. He's like, I told you. I told you people are <laughs> sleeping on it. I was like, yeah. All my friends like it. I hate it. It's... They start you off with five classes. And each, there's there's five different areas in, like, an end boss. And if mm -hmm. you beat each area on hard, you unlock a new character. Alternatively, you unlock a character every ten bosses you do on any difficulty. So, like, mm. I think a normal run takes you to, like, a, a very easy, not tutorial zone, but, like, starter stage to give you two items off the bat. Um, mm hmm then they send you to, I think, two areas where you'll get two items each there. And then you go to the final boss. So by the end, you'll have like six items, I want to say. No, there might be three stages. I'm not sure on that. Um, by the end, I want to say you'll have six items and been to the shop three times. Um, five? You go, you get, do you go through all of them before going to the end? Five items, three shops? Okay. Okay. Three zones? Gotcha. Um. Uh. So, like, by the end, I think in a run, you'll do three different bosses. So, like, if you want to just <clears throat> do unlocks, and Proxy can correct me on this, if you want to do just unlocks as fast as possible, you can play on cute mode, it's literally called cute mode. Um, <laughs> and you will get three bosses knocked out, maybe four if it counts the final one. It probably does. Um, and then you just do that over and over. And each ten, you get a you get a character unlock. I have unlocked three so far. The game starts with Heavy Blade, Assassin, Dancer, Wizard, and Druid. You unlock Spell Sword, Sniper, Bruiser, Defender, and Ancient. And like you can unlock them in any order, right? You could jump right into hard mode mm -hmm. and get the final one by doing that area first on hard. But <laughs> if you're not good at Telho games, like me, <laughs> you're gonna unlock them through cute mode or normal mode. Hmm. <laughs> Wizard don't need to unlock my class. Wizard is cool. Wizard has a primary ability that it's decently hard. It slows you in moving it, so it's a little dangerous to just spam it. Um, mm -mm -mm. They have a secondary, which buffs their special. And their special just fucking hits hard. But their special has a long cooldown. So the idea is, anytime you have your special... You want to use your secondary right before you do it. And if your special is on cooldown, you want to use your primary, which has like a 30% chance to reset your special. So the idea is um, get as many buffed out specials as possible. And uh, there are different items. There's some items that go great with this. There's one that's called like the mountain staff. Increases the damage of your specials mm -hmm. by 200%, but doubles their cooldown. Well, that doesn't really mm. matter much if you reset its cooldown, right? So Wizard sees Mountain Staff, and they're like, Give me! I will stab any of you <laughs> for this! I want it! Wizard, you don't need to aim. All attacks just hit, so you can focus on not dying. <laughs> the way I've been trying to play Xanther, I try to find a rotation that's so easy 
that always hits and is <laughs> I could turn into one button. So my best run, much to Proxy's dismay, is me playing Heavy Blade and just spamming my primary. <laughs> it has a 200 base damage. In my best run, I had the metronome boots to lower the global cooldown to 1.1. And I had... I don't, I don't remember which gem it was. I think it was the opal gem that increased the cooldown, the global cooldown by like two times. Um, but doubled the damage. So it was like 400 base damage. Um, with a 1.1 second cooldown because the metronome boots overrode the other one. So it was literally just a Beyblade just fucking spinning while I walk around trying not to die. And I was doing like 1,600 damage at the end of every fight. And I'm sitting there just like, fuck yeah! Roxy heavy blade hater. <sighs> Roxy's just sweaty, but that's okay. He's fucking cute, so we'll let him get away with it. <laughs> I love heavy blade. No, see, Lost One, that's just how I played heavy blade. That's like... Okay, heavy blade has a rotation. Its secondary will buff the damage of its primary. And there are different builds you can do to, like, um, do things with the heavy blade. You, the, the correct, the optimal way to play heavy blade is to do, be using all three abilities. Now it's just flat Kali. <laughs> That's what you were talking about. Okay. <sighs> Ah. Proxy, which is your favorite Heavy Blade skin? I'll tell you my favorite skin. Base? Uh, I like the Gyaru Heavy Blade. How can you not like the Gyaru Heavy Blade? Hi, Pixel. <sighs> Lily and Sen both look super comfy and like they're asleep. Hi. Ah. Looks like Rory Mercury. Mm hmm. Ah. Ah. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired and I'm sweaty and I have to clean the house today. What's that? What's what? Sounds like some something just got the Pixel, I have no idea what you're saying. That was me. It sounds like something got thrown. Oh, that was me putting my water down. Uh. Oh. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> Annoying iron after house cleaning? I'd be down, Icy Fire. Uh, I wanna... I wanna clean the house. I need to set up Star Wars. No, I need to finish setting up Code Geass Watch Along with some people. Um, and then I need to set up the next Star Wars The Old Republic run. That'll be with Full and Hunt. And there's a space open. Uh, anybody wanted to level a character... Gradually over three months, one day a week for three oh my hours. Goodness. Oh god, I want to play Star Wars with these people. That's quite the statement. But like, I've come to realize Star Wars: The Old Republic is such a terrible game to level with people. It'll be my first time, so expect failure on my end. If you're new to Toho games, we can start in cute mode. I really just want to get bosses down so I can unlock the defender. That's what I expect to be my favorite class. Um, if you're familiar with Toho's, then you can carry me on normal mode. I'll be able to get Bunny Game Tuesday? Hell yeah. Well, I would say, I would almost compare it, the most recent thing that is really popular is Vampire Survivors. I would almost say it's almost like that, because it's kind of more mm. top-down style. Yeah. Game feel-wise? 
it feels a lot like Risk of Rain Remastered. It feels like mm. everybody's into it. It's very easy to just pick up and play a few rounds. Sometimes you're going to have amazing runs. Sometimes you're going to have trash runs. Um, it's just... It's good. And like... It, I could see it being like two years from now, somebody being like, Hey, Rabbit and Steel added a new character. Want to go play it? abso fucking mm -hmm. You'd like Defender? They like Defend. I thought so. I wanted to do an on-hit build. So initially I was trying this with the Assassin, where you spam their secondary. And anything that's like, instances of damage do 20 more. Or when you hit the enemy 20 times, you do this. I was trying to do that with Assassin. And it started fucking slow. It was awful at the start. Um, and then Assassin, it's just not good for this. Because you slow yourself when using that move. Um, and like, it's, it's just, uh, you need, you need one specific gem for your secondary to like, work well with this build. Whereas like the defender, their base is three attacks with their primary. It does more damage. Um, and I expect most of their gems to play well with it. Are you having fun, Lind? I am. I like days where I have a lot of friends join on me. <sighs> Did you see what the world's first lunar clear team was? No, I didn't. That's that's a fun thought to me of like world's first lunar clear team. That actually makes it seem like Final Fantasy. <sighs> Wait, I will have a game to play with Icy. Pog. <sighs> There was two world first, but the first team was like a very cheesy way. Was it like three dancers doing resets and one insane DPS wizard? <sighs> my feet, man. Oh my gosh. <sighs> there was t three dancer, one druid. Oh god. They split it to two world first? Uh, break it down for me. A win's a win, no matter the ingredients. Until the game devs ban you and take it away. That's what they did with the Lich King and Wrath of the Lich King. You can't use an exploit by using Burning Crusade grenades to invalidate a mechanic. World first raid first. And world first roguelike. Mm hmm. Infinite crit uptime. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. It was really cool. Ah, I see, I see. Ah. The the two classes I've had a lot of fun with are Heavy Blade and Druid. I've had a lot of fun on those two so far. I have not played Wizard. I have not played Dancer. I do think Dancer is the cutest. Um. I've played Assassin. I don't really like it too much. Um. Welcome back. I have Thank played you. Spell Sword. <laughs> I don't really like Spell Sword. Okay. I have played. Thank you. Sniper. I really don't like Sniper. And I have played. Bruiser. Bruiser was weird. Bruiser didn't feel good. But I was doing 900 damage or 900 DPS every round. Like it was doing solid damage, and it felt like this is the right way to play. But it wasn't like crazy popping off. You played assassin as a defender, kind of. I did play assassin wrong. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. Every single game that has like a rogue class, I pray. Uh, play it off spec. I play it weird, so. In Wildstar, Wildstar had a lot of bared build variants, right? You could do a lot of things with your build there. Are you are you familiar with Wildstar? But uh, uh, lightly, okay. <laughs> not not uh, not really. So the way it worked was, um, you mean dead game. They had. I'm gonna fucking throw you. I swear <sighs> to God. <laughs> the way Wildstar worked was, you pick a class. 
And they have three ability trees that each have 10 abilities. So you have 30 to choose from. However, you can only put eight mm -hmm. on your bar. And so you, and there's also two per tree that you unlock by putting points in the talent tree, like of passes for that. So what most stalkers did yeah. was level up Claw, which was their basic attack. And when you leveled it up, it gave you energy. And then they leveled up Backstab, um, which, you know, stabs people in the back, hits really hard. Um, oh, there you go. With someone in the way, you can actually see Icy Fire. <laughs> True. It's just because of the transparency on the material. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> leveling up an ability. Oh. If you put four points into it, it just increased its damage. But to put a fifth point mm -hmm. in it, you actually had to put five whole points in it. So I actually think it was like one, two, three, and then five. So it was like eight points. But that, by putting mm -hmm. eight points into it, you would like augment the ability in some way. So this was like for Claw. Now it uh, pierces armor. One, two, three points of base damage, and then five more points. Now it generates energy, things like that. 99% of rogues were building claw and backstab to get as much energy as possible and stab enemies in the back as much as possible. And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't really care about this. The build I did on Stalker was I leveled up, you got to level up two abilities fully. I leveled up concussive kicks and clone. So clone, you had to have enough points in the talent tree to unlock clone. But for eight seconds, um, you created a clone of, or no, for 16 seconds, you created a clone of yourself. And it would just, it would attack and backstab and do, like, really good damage. Hi, the riddle. But, like, it was, it was essentially just a dot that you put on the enemy with a 24-second cooldown, last 16 seconds. If you leveled it up, at the first upgrade, it would do CC, so if enemies tried to cast something, it would interrupt them, which is fucking pog. Mm. Um, the second upgrade, you would summon two clones, effectively doubling its damage. And then concussive yeah. kicks, you kick the enemy twice. Well, the first upgrade is, when you concussive kicks, it doesn't activate the cooldown, and you can concussive kicks again. Um, but this, it, this second time won't reset its cooldown. And it has an eight second cooldown. The second upgrade is it lowers all of the cooldowns of your offensive abilities by one second for each kick. So it's two kicks, reset, two kicks. Four seconds off every cooldown. Eight seconds go by, two kicks, reset, two kicks, four more seconds. This lowers the clone cooldown from mm -hmm. 24 to 20 and then 16 when it lasts 16 seconds. So it's 100% uptime on these two clones. So every stalker is running around just like, I'm backstabbing, now I'm auto attacking, <laughs> and now I'm backstabbing, and I'm just like, I'm the fucking Guild Wars 2 Mesmer. You don't even know which one's real, motherfucker. And I'm out <laughs> DPSing you. And it was so fucking fun. I love builds like that. Because mm -hmm. it's so like counter to like what people know. So in any kind of like PvP game, I love you. Just like people like, oh, they're this. They're gonna do this, and then you do something totally different, uh -huh. and they're like, what the f what? <laughs> I fucking love. I spend way too much time in like build calculators for games, and I love finding mm -hmm. innovative non-meta stuff like that. And then I fucking love being told, you can't do this, and then doing it, and better than they were. <laughs> And like, God, I don't know if you've ever gotten somebody to apologize on League of Legends. It's a moment you never forget. <laughs> I remember playing <laughs> on hit Kale jungle and being like, you know, I need to scale a little bit, uh, play safe until like level six, level eight. And then I will, then I will shred. I just need my first item, I promise guys. Um, hi Ty. Uh, but like the first eight levels, the first 10 minutes, I'm like farming. I'm ignoring my lanes. And they're like, oh my God, this Kale Jungle's troll. They're so fucking troll. I hate this game. Oh my God. 
all chat. Everybody, please report <laughs> Kale. They're trolling. They didn't be at mid pick like they wanted, so they're trolling. Like they're just making bullshit up, right? Then I walk into top lane, get a kill, save my opponent with shield, get a second kill. Then I go to dragon and get that. Then I get a triple kill. At this point, the game's fucking over. By the end, I'm like 27 and two. And this person that was flaming, they shut the fuck up. Like once I started getting kills, they just <laughs> stopped talking. And like, we're in their base hitting the Nexus and he's like, I was wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> just, that's it. He didn't want to say anything more. He's just like, I was wrong, I'm sorry. And I remember just like, this is the best game of my life. I will never forget this moment. Hi, Logitech. Uh, uh, Pixel's a schlama today. Uh, he's not even a llama. Hi, cute tiny Freya. How fighting games feel like? Didn't I just hear Leaflet right now? He might have been saying similar things. Walking time, let's go. Please report this. Gets results. Starts backspacing. Basically. <laughs> like... God, on hit Kale, if you got ahead at all, it was so fucking disgusting. Because it's it's a 1v1 god because nobody can, like, kill you before you kill them. Because you've got this invulnerability mm -hmm. for three seconds. So, like, it's the fucking best thing ever. And Akali dashes at you, you shield, throw down a ward, and they're just standing there just like, oh no. <laughs> and you're just like, <laughs> and they're gone. Time to run through time. <laughs> oh man, lol player trash talk, my AP Nasus. They don't level, that don't level Q first. After they kill me once, I basically take over all tower on my own. I, I've done decent with AP Nasus. I really like stacking Nasus. That is just a play style that works for me really well. And so what I've done a few times is jungle Nasus. And like... Jungle Nasus is fun because you get 12 stacks per big minion in the jungle. So you get to a point where you're just like harassing the enemy jungler by taking their big uh, jungle creeps and leaving the small ones for them. And then you go back to your jungle and you take your raptor, get 12 from it. And then like once you're level nine, you do this. Just every three seconds, you get stacks off your little raptor. So it's just three, 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 and you get to the point where it's just like you are just a ticking time bomb and you get to a point where you just walk into lanes take whatever creeps you want take a tower in two shots and like <laughs> I've had a game I've had a game where the enemy team just like they were like this Nasus is a problem he's literally walked into two lanes and taken towers we need to fucking stop him so they were just like their support and their jungle were just warding my jungle. And they were treating me like I was an objective. Like literally I would walk into my blue side <laughs> and their mid and bot lane would just start moving toward my jungle. And so it's like, I don't think you guys understand you can commit that many resources to a single player. Cause I would just run between top jungle and bottom jungle and they'd be trying to follow me. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, my bottom lane is just like, Hey, nobody's been bottom for a minute, so I got a second tower. This feels wrong. <laughs> Lol talk snooze. My AP Nasus is after my first recall. My enemy second recall towers are starting to vanish off the enemy maps. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. No, my, uh... My League of Legends history is pretty fucking cursed, though. Anytime I get really good with something, I start one-tricking and climbing up ranks, and then Riot nerfs mm -hmm. it. It has happened with <laughs> AD Nidalee. It has happened with Skarner. It has happened with Sejuani. It has happened with Kale. <laughs> it just... I think there's one more champion that I'm forgetting. It just keeps fucking happening. And I'm like, God, please just let me have this. Uh, did you play much League? 
Um, I've played a little bit. I've played a lot of HOTS, but I know uh, enough about League. The problem is, is all my friends are like real high elo. Like I had a buddy that mm. had like, I, <laughs> he had like a 50,000, 60,000 sub YouTube channel. Like he was like, pro, I play this, this isn't like my full time job sort of deal. And so, you know, I play casuals with them, but because, you know, the hidden MMR, mm. like the lobbies would be insane. And I would just like get it destroyed. Was it Panunu? But the problem is, is because of that MMR, they're like, oh, this person's dying a lot. They must be really new, must be really bad. Yeah. So if I solo queued, I got into games with people that like didn't know how to use a mouse and keyboard. Oh, I'm geez. like, well, this isn't the way to learn either. Yeah. <laughs> Was your lead friend Panunu? I, I think it's, um, no, they played hmm. the girl with the ring. They played her top lane. Ah. Was their like one trick channel. I see. I know Kiana. Panunu. Yeah, I know Panunu played a lot of League of Legends and VR chat. And so, like. Oh, this is before VR. This is like. Oh, okay, okay. 10 years ago. Takeru. Hi. Um. Yeah. Panunu is somebody that I've met on VR, met through Twitch channels. But they're like. Masters YouTube combo video Gragas. Mm -hmm. uh, Gragas is the uh, fat guy with the wine, and like mm -hmm. he throws it out, misses completely, then hits you with the ultimate and pushes you into it, and you're like, oh no, <laughs> and you're just gone. And all of this happens in point two seconds. The the, um... the audio is scuffed, by the way. Oh. That's not you guys. That's that's the YouTube video. It'll resolve itself after oh. like 10 seconds. If anybody's hearing that in the The one league player. Mm hmm. I know that plays VR chat a lot. I've met Dyrus once or twice. I have also in VR, met him a few times. And he just like gets <laughs> high constantly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that man not high in VR. I have. I have the funniest Dyrus story. So. Okay. A streamer I really like is named Talena. And Talena played mm -hmm. VR chat a lot. And she also played a lot of RTS games. She was fucking crazy good at RTS games. Um, mm -hmm. She wrote guides on, like, Reddit for them. Like, if you want to win Total War, build Bowman and Long Bowman. Do this with them, do this with them. It's literally impossible to lose with them. Then she would go stream and be like, we're doing a challenge to beat Ultimate Iron Man hard mode. But, like, no Longbows or Bowman. Because it's too easy when we do that. So people would show up to her channel and be like, <laughs> if, you're, if you're playing on Ultimate, you need to buy Bowman and Longbowman. Here, let me link you this guide. And she's like, I wrote this guide, dude. I know. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. But, like, we're doing a challenge. She played with Dyrus. And Dyrus was like, you're fucking crazy good. Teach me how to play. So the two of them played a lot of uh, RTS games off stream and became friends. So then I would watch Telena stream, and mm. Dyrus would just show up. Um, and at one point, Telena gets into Final Fantasy XIV. And she's like, I don't know what to play. I really want to play Scholar, but I also want to play Red Mage. And Dyrus tells her, what you should do is boost one of them. Boost Scholar, and then play Red Mage. That way you are going through quests as a DPS. And then when you want to do mm. dungeons, you can play the healer and get a fast Q and learn it as you go through the dungeons. And then when you finish a Realm Reborn, post Realm Reborn is kind of boring. So skip, buy a story skip for post Realm Reborn. But do all of a Realm Reborn. But skip post if you're bored. Um, mm -mm. And... Then, uh, so that was like her day one of Final Fantasy XIV. Then I meet her on day two. Well, I get on and friend request her on day two. Um, and she's like, yeah. Dyrus told me to boost the class so I get bonus experience and to skip a Realm Reborn. And I was like, so you want to play Red Mage and Scholar? Which one are you boosting? And she's like, no, I boosted Dragoon. What? Well, I boosted Dragoon so that both Scholar and Red Mage get bonus experience, but I still want to play them. Well, I think you could just boost one and play the other, and that'd be a good way to level. I think you're going to have trouble trying to level both 
well, Dyrus said, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna go against the great Dyrus. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I also skip story. And I was like, why the fuck would you do that? She's like, well, Dyrus said, and I'm like, all right, I don't, I've never met Dyrus at this point, but he's a fucking idiot. You need, you need to do the story. You are literally not going to be able to level. You're gonna have to do fates to level 15, which is miserable. And then you're only going to be able to level with roulettes and dungeons. Which, if you want to power level, and you do, you want to play 10 hours a day, you are going to be dungeon grinding with no story. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Euland, I've known Dyrus a while. I'm going to trust my friend with this. I was like, okay, okay. I think he's wrong on this, but, you know, if you trust him, we'll go with it. And so for like three weeks... We grinded dungeons, leveling two of her characters, and it was miserable. I mean, it was, it was fun, but it was a slog. <laughs> um, yeah. Dyrus shows up in chat, and like he was even like showing up. He was lurking until I was like, "Oh, Dyrus is in chat. Everybody, look at him. He's lurking." <laughs> and he's like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you called me out like that." He joins the call with her, and she's like, "I did what you said." I boosted Dragoon so that Red Mage and Scholar got bonus experience. And then, why did you tell me to story skip? It was really hard to level with just dungeons when I did the ARR story skip. It took like three weeks to get here. And Dyrus is like, what? That's not what I told you. I told you to boost Scholar, level Red Mage, do dungeons with Scholar, and skip post ARR. Not all of it. Have you been just doing dungeons for three weeks to level? What are you, stupid? <laughs> and I'm in chat just going like, I fucking knew it! I fucking knew you were wrong on this! Um, and Dyrus is like, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I, I still hope you're having fun with Final Fantasy. I want to show you one of the best experiences in Final Fantasy. I want to show you the Shiva fight, because you skipped store, uh, A Realm Reborn. You wouldn't have seen this mm -hmm. amazing fight in post ARR. So, we're gonna go do Shiva. We're gonna do it unsynced, but I'm not gonna be doing any damage. I'm gonna have my weapon unequipped. Max out your BGM. Max out your background music. And she goes, max out background music? Okay. And she turns it to zero. And all of us in the chat are like, no, max out means 100. A other way. Put it to 100. And she's, like, so tired of just being stupid at this point that, like, she's just ignoring us. And she and Dyrus are fighting <laughs> Shiva, and all we can fucking hear is Shiva just, like, slapping Dyrus's axe because he's a warrior. And it is, like, it is literally the generic <laughs> soundbite clip of sword hits shield, just clunk, ping, yeah. clunk, <laughs> clunk mm -hmm. for ten fucking minutes. And it was awful. That's awesome. It was so bad. That's and, awesome. And like, they kill it. And Dyrus goes, so, what'd you think? Pretty cool, right? And she's like, Dyrus, that, that was awful. That was the worst thing ever. He's like, what? You didn't like the music? You told me to turn down the music. And he, I've never seen <laughs> this man show so many emotions. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God, you're doing this on purpose. <laughs> You're, there's no way you're this stupid. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Oh, oh, You're doing this on purpose. You're doing this to me on purpose. And like... It was so fucking funny. They do it again. This time she has the music up, and she's like, Oh, the music is cool! And everybody's like, Yeah, you fucking think? Really? That's so... <laughs> that is my favorite Dyrus story. Because like... Everybody thinks of Dyrus. They think of monotone. They think of like, yeah, he's just there and vibing. And I have seen the other side. I have seen him <laughs> having a fucking crisis. Ah, based skipping story is based. Oh god, you're you're so wrong, Ty. Selena doesn't listen. Selena is so smart, but so fucking mega dumb sometimes. It is literally... God. She's smart. Like, she is crazy intelligent. And, like, when she plays RTS games, 
she can find the best strategies like instantly and like I remember I'd watch people play XCOM 2 and I would watch people play and they'd be like on normal mode and losing units now and then it's a tough game shit happens in that game and units are gonna die mm -hmm. Talena would then go in and if she could get past the first two missions she could play it on like ultimate Iron Man uh, just hardest difficulty hardest mods all together long war and if she could get through the first two missions she could go through the entire game without losing a single unit she is just built fucking different at these games but like then she does stuff like that shiva max out the bgm okay sets it to zero and you're like my god there's nothing behind your eyes what is wrong with you <laughs> I'm never wrong. I thought I was wrong once, but I was wrong. Okay, time. That's funny. What's wrong with Vivin? Nothing is wrong with Vivin. Most people know that know Dyrus is the the Vibin dude, and everybody loves Dyrus. Well, most people love Dyrus. I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. Never met him, but know too many that did. People not listening to you seems to be a trend. Maybe it's a commie living in her brain? I don't know. All I know is she's a goofball. That... Sometimes worries about things too much. And needs to focus more on the journey and having a good time. Uh, but I love her dearly. She was the first person to like really support me streaming. Well, not like encourage me to stream, but like once I started streaming, she was the first one to like ping her Discord and be like, guys, Euland is streaming, we all have to go there. And it was like day four or five. <laughs> I had like two viewers and suddenly I had eight and suddenly I had fifteen. I was like, Oh my god, there's so many people. <laughs> oh yeah, water. Water's important. Uh, my water bottle's getting light. Granted, I'm at 4.5 miles. Uh. I don't know. I, I forgot to check the manual on my treadmill, but I just try to, to like match your pace in terms mm -hmm. of what my treadmill's at, and I think I got it close. So looks pretty good. But I'm also not on an incline, so. Mm-hmm. I I have it down to 2.3 miles right now. 2.3 miles per hour. But. I find 2.5 with Max Incline is just a little hard. Where Pixel? He's right there. I need to find a decent bathing suit, Ava. Mm -hmm. You guys have water? I'm baking in the sun here on the field. Oh no. Pixel is a shark alpaca? Yes, they are. I know llama's cuter to say, but they're an alpaca, damn it. The biologist in me won't let it slide. You and that's a dead fish? That is not a dead fish. <sighs> Llama? X eyes means it's dead. That's literally clothes, Global. <sighs> oh! I, I literally haven't looked at my news at all today, my notes. The Kmart oh. community on VRChat is closing down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um... What are they doing? Uh, so they've just had a very, like, active Discord community, I guess. But yeah. the The guy running the Discord is like, guys, we're gonna stop doing this. We'll keep the worlds up in VRChat, but... I'm disbanding the Discord and the community. At this point, the cons outweigh the oh. pros. Which is like... Oh, shit. That kind of makes it just sounds like there's been constant drama there and he's tired. I don't know. That's me, like, just look, reading into it. I went to one or two of those. Hmm. Dungeon Pop Hypers? But I can see that. It's, it's like anything. It, like, running an event, you know, especially mm -hmm. just like a fun... 
event that you put on, if it's the same thing week after week, time after time, yeah, you kind of stagnate. If you don't like change out the people, change out the activities, you know. Mm -hmm. And something like that, I can imagine, because God, that world's been around for years. The event. So that... I can only imagine how long you can do that before it gets stale. The event that I saw stagnate was What's in the Box, where like that guy pumped out. 72 what's in the box mm -hmm. maps and it was like one a month for years and like he just sounds tired now and it's like <laughs> yeah dude we had fun but like please take a break please enjoy your life um oh god uh i saw i saw a guy that did a video on indeed and he was like Here's something that not enough people are talking about. When you apply for a job and get rejected, you should be sending a thank you letter for the rejection. Oh. And I was like, what? what? Mm -hmm. This shows professionalism. And while you maybe didn't get this job, you might be more considered for the next job. Also, if their first pick doesn't accept the job, they're going to look to you first for your professionalism and courtesy. And it's like... Um, that's true to a oh, degree. True to a um, degree, but like, I would never send a, a thing. Yeah. Where you have to like. Um, if they give you good feedback and they're not like you know business letter buttheads about it, I would mm -hmm. say that that's respectable. Even then, he was saying like. You should always send a thank you letter. I'm just like, look, mm. I don't want to kink shame, but I'm just not a cuck with this. I just like, it is the same feeling to me and no, absolutely not. Oh my God. It's like the bicycle meme. What's it's the bike bicycle cuck. meme? Bike cuck. <sighs> it's like a, it's like a- I didn't get this job, chance? but- I just gotta think about how happy the person who actually got the job is. <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> Therefore, and if I'm happy for them, the, the net positivity of the world will go up. Jesus. Or whatever it is. Exactly. What type of marine it's, biologist it's, are you? Yeah, that's exactly it. Imagine doing the same event over and over every day. Oh, congrats oh, on three or four yeah. days of walking. Fuck you, icy fire. It's just exercise. Yeah, you're a marine biologist. Bring the fish back to life. No. He's not dead, it's just close. He was literally just talking and he brought up the bike meme. <laughs> Gotta lay down for a bit, but I left you a that message. That was his ghost. Window. Stop moving. You're ruining the RP. <laughs> <laughs> Pixel, no god RP. You're joking, fucking I'm dead. <laughs> Fail RP, <laughs> minus two. <laughs> I hope you feel better, Proxy. That or you're just sleepy and need rest. I spell Proxy, I will send them a con soon. To tell them to go fuck themselves? Wait, you aren't into NTR? No. Yulin thinks people, not corpos? I think people, not corpos. Ugh. Hi, Wrath. Um. No. I don't have anything against, like, cucking, cucking, cuckolding stuff. If you're into that, fucking hell yeah. I myself. If I'm not involved, I don't want to be there. I will never sit in the cuck chair and watch. Absolutely not. <laughs> did I tell you what happened in my Stardew playthrough? What they did in my house is that because I'm the I'm the farmer I'm the farmer, right? So everyone mm -hmm. like immediately put my bed next to the door because that's the house everyone just sprints into because it's the first one on the farm. Mm-hmm. And so I'm the person who gets married. I get married to Haley because, you know, daffodils are really easy in the spring. Yeah. And then once you hit summer, you can just give her sunflowers. So it's very quick. So mm -hmm. I was the first one to have a spouse. And so what everyone does is that they they put a bunch of chairs in my house around the bed. <laughs> and so it's like it's like 1 a.m. I was doing like skull cave or whatever, and I farm towed him back, and I come into my house. And it's just like four people in chairs around my bed that my <laughs> wife is sleeping in. And they're like, get in the bed. Uh, no. What are you waiting for? Good lord, that's <laughs> so bad. And I was like, oh my goodness gracious. See, I would actually be okay with that. People watching me, I'm totally fine with. But like... Yeah, because you're an exhibitionist. Yeah. 
But I will never, I will never be the person that like watches and doesn't get involved. <laughs> But it's constantly. It's like it's like the same joke being a dead horse. Yeah, I'm getting in the bed with your wife. <laughs> Real um, quick. And it's like, oh my goodness. When uh I was I was I wasn't the first to get a star drop. I think I was like the third. I think our miners got it first. Um, but when mm -hmm. I got mine I was like, You found a star drip star drop. You were reminded of familiar feelings of exhibitionism. <laughs> And I was like, oh, you what? Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's what you put? <laughs> of course that's what oh, I put. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Hi Violet. Hi Dehi. <sighs> what type of VTuber isn't into NTR? <sighs> Euland, would you be the cuck stud? I, I... What the hell does that even mean? That's the what guy that that's not mean? in the relationship that gets watched and then he's like... All right, champ, you can clean up, and then he leaves. Uh, and the guy in the cuck is like, all right, thank you. Uh. I watched, um, I watched a horror show that came out, like, around Halloween time. Mm-hmm. Where it had just, like, a real cuck-holding relationship in it. And just, like, watching all of it, I'm like, wow, I'm uncomfortable <laughs> the entire time. Yeah. Because it was, like, a woman that liked, uh, watching her husband get cucked. Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my, oh my god. I hated it. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't please stop talking about the cuck chair? Would you fuck your best friend's wife if it turned out the friend is a cuck? <sighs> Maybe. No. Maybe. I'd want to. You I'd just want... can't have a normal relationship with them after that. That's the thing, though. I don't want a normal relationship with them. I want a happy Ooh. relationship with them. One... Normal or not. Ooh, one sec. Okay. I have a phone call. Oh. Oh god, what? NTR song here. Oh god, how does it go? Oh. Fuck, I can't remember how it starts. Bull's gun, get in the bed. Violet, oh. Ne torare. Da na 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 na. I can't remember the lyrics. Ah. Ah. Oh god. We're almost at five. We're almost at five miles. Welcome back, Possessed Cairo. In Dojinshi, where porn is king, where Chad's meet girls, here's what they sing. I can't even remember the cadence. I don't know if cadence is the right word. I can't remember, like, the flow of it, Violet. I'm, like, reading the lyrics, I'm like, I don't... This isn't sounding right in my head. But I know those are the lyrics. In Dojenshi, where porn is king, where chads meet girls, here's what they sing. Ba bum bum ba bum bum ba bum bum. All right, I got it. I remembered it. It's to that's amore. I remembered it, but I like I was trying to fit it to the chorus. I was trying to fit that intro part to the chorus, and it wasn't matching up. All right, Cairo's back. I, can't I had a friend. I came back to hear that. <laughs> I had a friend who, uh, when I first started being openly, when I first started like kind of exploring myself and making a lot of mm -hmm. weird jokes and you know being more out there with stuff, I was I just discovered they were streaming, and I was in their chat, basically constantly making lewd jokes, and they were very encouraging and supportive of it. Um. After one day at stream, they were like, I have a proposition for you. It's a lewd proposition. And I was like, hell yeah, go on. And they were like, <laughs> please don't judge. You seem like really open and cool. But I'm into cucking. And I'm like, this is going <laughs> way further than I expected it to. And they were like. <laughs> Very quickly. <laughs> and they were like, how do you feel about ERPing with my girlfriend and making a fucking mess of her? And then Ooh. I get to clean up after. And I was like, okay, well, one, I think I'm a little not ready for that. Two, 
I don't make a mess of anyone. I'm like turbo submissive femboy. That's not really how it goes. And they were like, fair, fair. I also really appreciate you for not like being grossed out by me. And I was like, I'm not grossed out. I do have questions. You're the first person I've ever <laughs> met that like, you would say you're a cuck. Normally it's like an insult to people. They're like, no, I'm not. And they were like, yeah, honestly, I'm kind of new to it. Um, I've been with this girl for like two or three years. And like, it's just something that I've liked in porn. And she has just, you know, we've talked it out. And it's like, she's very encouraging and suggested I try it. And it's like, it's genuinely something I want. I was like, God damn. All right, hell yeah. Is there a manga about the ugly shy guy flapping all the women? When you dwell on the past while he pounds her sweet ass, netorare. When you're watching the clock while she takes oh, his fat god, netorare. My. Balls will ring, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling. While she's sucking That's a terrible. fella. Hard eyes go tippy tippy tay, tippy tippy tay. Her hips sway on an alpha. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh boring. my goodness. True, you are such a subby wubby bottom, even I could top you and true. My spike heels crushing you bottom okay, hold on. Spike heel sounds painful. Wait, wait. Yamate kuda stop. Go on, Farisu. Elon, there's a bean next to you. Head pat the bean. Which one? This one? Whoa. For this one. <sighs> Senril and I were up very late last night on core stream. And so he is very comfy vibing right now. He might be asleep. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I only had like three hours of sleep. <laughs> Big sleepy. Same. I I went to bed at four thirty or five and woke up at eight. Now I'd gotten a big nap. I saw you get off. <sighs> I was playing Rabbit and Steel with Sappy and Foss, and he was like, fuck, I just want to play more. <laughs> Stop rubbing their ass. I'm not. There's nothing wrong with NTR. There's nothing wrong with consensual NTR. It is very wrong when not all parties are very much involved and okay with it. Color me surprised that you sang that so well, damn. You know what, honestly, Violet? I'm normally super self-conscious about singing. But I was like, we're five miles. Wait, we're five miles. We're done. What the fuck? Five miles into an incline walk. I'm out of breath. I don't care how bad it sounds. I don't think anybody expects me to sound like fucking incredible. Uh, oh, God. Uh, get off my hand. Uh, oh wait, you're done? Four or five damn. miles. Where's my mouse? There it is. Uh, ten, ten hasn't even woke up. This one. Oh, the frills back on? Sure. There we go. Yeah, no, you're fine. Ah. Uh, oh, God. Bring the PSO music back. Ah. Uh, oh, God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna model. Uh, hmm? I'm gonna miss you. this view. What? Not <laughs> You can just scale down in your model. You can just be I'm like short. On, I'm like yeah, on yeah, this yeah. game all weekend. Uh, all right. Uh, well, I think he's saying oh, when well, he gets a tall model, Slenderman. he won't be down below for oh, the, okay. the lewd shots. <laughs> uh, all right, let's fix trackers. Uh, what? No. I'm being wholesome here. It's okay. We know you can't go all the way. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. 
you flirt a lot, and then it's like, all right, you wanna you wanna go with this, and you're like, no, I was just kidding. <laughs> Uh, holy fuck, I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Go to sundown. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's in this one. No, it's actually in this one. Also, I need to add this to this one. Friends, drop portal. Portal. Ah. Well done, you and the Almighty. Almighty? That might be too much. You saw him, what? <laughs> I'll tower over you with some 8 inch heels and I'll thank you for it. Remember? Ah. Remember the last heel pick I sent you and those ones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't want to get, like, stomped by heels. That sounds so painful. Do you know that police officers actually go through training to deal with women who take their heels off? Because a lot of police officers have died from taking a, a spiked heel to the temple because it's an extremely dangerous and lethal weapon? Fun fact for you. Ah. Going to the beach. Bum, bum. Ah. All right, I need to update the title. Five miles. Ah. You want to hate singing and bards and hunting horn and gale? Why do you think I hate hunting horn? I fucking love the hunting horn. It's I mained it for a while. Matthews. Oh my god. Thank you, Matthews, for the 12 months gifted sub. God, you're insane. Five miles. And now we rest. Uh, uh, oh my god. Okay. Uh. Dun, dun. Uh. Uh. Oh, I did it wrong. I gotta do this first. Then put this here. Then go back. Uh, right here. Ah. Uh. Well, I turned. Oh, good. Sen's awake. <laughs> Hi, Sen. I'm spinning. Sen has been half I'm awake at most. Ah. Uh. Uh. I'm dumb. What is NTR? Uh. NTR is netorare, which is basically cucking. It's like. Imagine a couple, boy and a girl, and then girl cheats with boy and falls in love with someone else, and uh, original boy is just devastated. That's Netorare. It can be the other way around. It can, it can. Uh, eight it's a reverse head. version, but it's called something else. Nice twink romance. That is not what it is. I'm very of the opinion that even <laughs> when someone can't sing, if they're singing their heart out, it's still awesome. But you were note and temp accurate, so well done. Hi, Zuvi. That's surprising to me that I was note and temp accurate. I I 100 percent agree with you, Violet. But I have like the opposite of ASMR with singing. So like unless somebody is so skilled with singing that they're like professionally trained and it's you know, it's basically an instrument, I find like karaoke and just people singing 
Especially if it's acoustic and they can't behind instrumentals. <laughs> the, the like, literal definition of the word cringe. Not like, you know, uh, lol cringe, like we throw the word out too much nowadays. But, like, I just am uncomfortable listening to people sing. And so I'm very self-conscious about myself singing. I typically don't like other people singing. It's, I don't like this about myself. I, like, I will never judge people for it. Like, if I hear somebody singing and I'm like, oh, in my head, I'm like, I don't like that. But, like, outwardly, I'm going to fucking lie to them and be like, that was great. Hell yeah. Um, I never go to karaoke. I don't know why I'm like this. I genuinely hate this about myself, but I just don't like hearing people sing. Ah, wholesome. Pixel go for the throat. Well done, you and the almighty. Oh my god, you've been in the same spot this whole time. That hurted my brain. Just man the- Just man up and fuck him already? Talking about flirting. This week I got to take some time to flirt with Lofam. Hell yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh my god, Chatterino, please. Is this why they are so aggressive towards crossdressers? I don't even know what that's about at this point, Global. The yeah, women still wear heels on the plane, Keck. Elon hates singing and bards and hunting horn and gale. I don't hate gale or hunting horn. I do hate bards. I don't hate singing, but I don't want to partake. Ugh. We need to make heel armor now. Matthew's gun. Saw Violet without a sub. I lost one. Hi, Freya. Hi, hi, hey. Elon is the Grinch of singing. I am. I literally am. He's still singing, miss. Oh, thank you, Matthews. You went, you went on a 20-minute rant about hating hunting horn users. Yeah, I hate hunting horn users. That's very different than hunting horn. Hunting horn users that do zero damage and sit in the corner just playing songs over and over are wrong. They're wrong for it. I think you, Wolf Mommy. Wait, holy shit. Yeah, Violet, that's 12 months. That's a year of sub. Matthews is genuinely insane. How is the wind crisis going? We saw him earlier, Zuby. I don't know if he just got on on his phone or if he has power again, but we did see bits earlier. Thank God my right ear is semi-dead. Here but playing Minecraft. NTR Those muting stream uh... badge. Fair. Elon having the Dujan villain lighting that going is... on. I don't know why I'm like so dark compared to everybody. Wispy Woo maps do typically have weird lighting. Uh, let's see if it fixes by me like moving around. No, it gets darker over there. I get lighter over here. Kind of. Eh, no, it's it's noticeably lighter. Do you have the files to your stuff? I have, nope. I, I've done uh, okay. like... never mind. None of my own model stuff. I paid a friend to... I was gonna offer to take a look at it, but... <laughs> I... I wanna learn. I'm just really bad at... And I'm... When I'm learning stuff slowly and getting frustrated, I just wanna do anything but learn. So like... I haven't touched model stuff for like two months now. Mm. I had the worst wake-up call about my vocal testicles. Vocal testicles? The one time I tried doing karaoke, IRL. My voice was thrown back at me so manly, I never wanted to karaoke again. Every time you say you hate Barge, reminds me of Venti. I do dislike Venti. Venti has a lot of things I dislike about him. I hate his clothes. His poofy pants are dumb. I don't typically like bows in games. I don't know why. I think it's a Monster Hunter thing where I was just getting really mad at every bow user stunning me on my gun lance. Um, and I uh, I don't like bards. Give me a real teammate. I need somebody that does a little bit more than just set the atmosphere. Um, man, I'm musically dumb. Can't figure out what high or low tone. So Yulin hates himself. Got it. What are you talking about? getting called out what do you mean eland i stand with the hunting horn users they're supporting you so you don't get carried by their max rank normal weaponry okay when i was brought to a vr world where people can adjust the song timing to the person singing and i don't have to hear my voice played back by speakers mm -hmm. okay wait mm. oh okay that sounds good in theory. I assume it's pretty jank, but it's since a cool idea. Since we're talking about NTR now, does the lighting indicate he is oh, the God. instigator? No. 
It's just weird wispy woo lighting. <laughs> Yulid is just a fucking hater. Venti is Yulid nemesis. I wouldn't say nemesis, but we're not. We wouldn't be best friends. Oh my god, Yulin, don't hate the pumpkin shorts. I hate the pumpkin shorts. They're so dumb. I cannot stand poofy, like, pants and shorts like that. It's so just like, ugh. Ugh. <sighs> I didn't cover my notes at all today. <laughs> what the fuck? I just brought up Emery Swords chattering home. Ow. Uh, there was a Daily Dose video yesterday. And in it, this mm. guy had his hand amputated. And his doctors, like, basically took his hand skeleton and reconstructed it in a box. And they're like, hey, do you want this? And he's like, I guess so. Not really happy about losing my hand, but I guess I'll keep this. <laughs> so this guy <laughs> just had, like, his skeletal hand in a box. The, the doctors gave him after his I, amputation. I saw that. I used to do some, like, contract work for, like, a medical place, and I thought it was so funny. It was, like, a place that, uh, they did amputations and other stuff like that. They had, you know, like, a morgue and everything spooky, but mm -hmm. it was, like, a container where it was, like, Cindy would like to keep her tonsils or something. I'm like, that's just weird. Why tonsils? <laughs> that's just weird. It was something, it was something weird. I forget what it was. It wasn't, mm -hmm. like, your hand or a finger or something. But it was like an internal organ. It's like, why would you want that? That's so weird. Ugh. I understand if it's something that? like a heart. Um, but uh, that's so weird. Just cremate it. Just cremate it and keep the ashes. That's so much more normal. Just uh, <laughs> the heart is so symbolic, though. And people are like, put it in a jar. Look, I'll give you my heart. Uh, and, and like, I still think it's, you know, it's uh, so gross gosh. compared to like a cartoon little drawn heart that's like, Ugh, you don't have to, but. Some people enjoy that. Oh, that's true, Violet. Might have been for a religious spiritual reason. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Uh, Venti is hiding his dumpy under those poofy. I'll never understand how Yulin can hold this much hate inside his heart. When it's so filled of slut. It's not even hate. It's just like annoyance and grievances. Like, if I was playing with somebody on Monster Hunter, and that was how they played Monster Hunter, I'd be like, they play wrong, but it's more important for me to play with this person than for them to play correct. And so, you know, I'll get over it. I'll still play with them. But, like, it's just, it's just the wrong way to play. Ah, no fight heart in a jar. I would 100% do that. I'll give you my heart. I probably would too. <laughs> Actually, I had a friend in elementary school who had a heart amputation. Um, he so he had uh, he had a really weak heart and a condition that like he would just have frequent heart attacks in like third and fourth grade. Oh. Um. And he had a I don't want to say a pacemaker, but I'm not sure that's right. He had something that, like, assisted his heartbeat, and it would, like, um... Yeah, it's a pacemaker. I think it would send out a 9-11 alert, uh, if it stopped. I'm not sure. Um... 9-11? Like, 9-1-1? I shouldn't have called it 9-11. 9-1-1. Um, <laughs> um... I don't remember. I remember in fourth grade... Oh, God, not the... <laughs> Second heart. God damn it. Stop. Stop. God. <laughs> oh. I remember in fourth grade, he was like cold and he was like, hey, Elon, can you go get a teacher? I don't feel good. And then he just fucking face plants into the sidewalk. And like me, you know, having been oh, one of his best gosh. friends, I was like, I know he's having a heart attack. So I ran to Mrs. Nelson and I was like, Nate's having a heart attack. And she was like, He's fine, right? And I was like, no, the kid that has heart attacks is having a heart attack. And she was like, oh, shit, that's right. We do have one of those. So she called 911, uh, propped him up. Um, I think she was giving him care. First responders came, like, really fast and saved him. Uh, she was hailed as, like, a hero. She was like, oh, she saved this kid's life. And I'm sitting there like, I mean, I helped too, right? <laughs> right? Um, 
<laughs> but you know the important thing obviously was that he lived um he got a heart transplant in eighth grade i think and i remember they had him on an antibiotic that would reduce his immune system so that it wouldn't like immediately reject the heart and because of it he swelled up like a balloon and was wheelchair bound i remember he literally looked like the fucking he just looked swollen um his yeah. head was a perfect circle and it's like oh my god um and then in high school you know he didn't have to take that anymore his heart had been like fully accepted and he immediately slimmed down and looked really good and he had a gnarly scar down his uh down his chest i mean it, it was a like they had to fully open him up uh rip open his rib cage it was gnarly oh they cut his stern yeah yeah oh um, eesh but like the most painful part yeah um but uh he he got to live um and so uh, i had a friend who uh he literally i don't know if he kept his heart i don't know if he did the heart in a jar thing i would assume he did and just like i never saw it but if someone gave me a heart <laughs> in a jar i would probably call the police uh Zero zero one. If I land <laughs> two, if I see hey, you three, can have my plane. God damn it! Fucking neck wound heart. <laughs> <laughs> Where Just was this heart to stop it? Fluid. I'm glad they are making the jokes. I don't have to. Oof, she stole all that glory. Chicks dig gnarly scars and glow ups. Yeah, yeah. I. I don't know what he got up to after after high school. Admittedly, I I have trouble reaching out to friends. I'm not good at it. And I'm trying to be better about it now. But like it's my new friends, right? So all my high school friends, I haven't talked to them in like 15 years. I graduated high school mm -hmm. and immediately moved away to Missouri, and I think I've talked to two of them since then. One of them was my best friend. Um and the other was well, my best friends kind of changed every year because it depended on who I had uh, uh, rotating breaks with. So we had seven, like, periods. And then, like, um, this group would, like, have fifth period off together. And then next year, it was like, well, you're in the third period group. And so whoever I had that off with ended up being my best friend. Um, and so... Uh, my, my best friend from, like, seventh grade on that I wasn't always, like, seeing a lot of. I've talked to him a bit, but it's been, like, two different conversations of, Hey, man, I miss you so much. I hope you're doing well. We should hang out more. No contact for five years. Um, and then the other one, oh, God. The other one's just a tragic story of him going from, like, a 4.0 GPA getting a full scholarship to a school, um, having plans to marry a girl because they dated the entire high school uh, time for all four years. Um, and then the dumbasses went to different colleges. She cheated and he just fell apart. I don't know if he finished college. I hope he did. I know he went to jail because he tried selling weed through uh, UPS and tried literally sending weed through the mail and got caught. Um, that guy had a tough upbringing. I hope he's doing well. Next story. There was a car accident <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> this, uh, way to no. ruin a day. This woman was driving a, uh, semi truck and she was going across a bridge and there was a car accident in the oncoming lanes going, you know, to the left of her. Two cars bumped and one of them veered into oncoming traffic and hit her semi truck which caused her to veer and literally go off the bridge. Now, thankfully, the truck, like, ended up wedging in the supports of the bridge. And it didn't go, like, all the way into the water. But it was dangling there. She was literally, like... It's like a fucking Spider-Man movie where she's, like, in the cab and it's just facing straight down toward the water. And she was hanging there for, like, five or ten minutes, just like, oh, God, what do I do? Um... Wait, did this happen locally? I don't know if it was locally, but it happened in the U.S. Um, oh. They so I saw the I saw the dash cam footage of it, and then I saw the news footage of them mm. like uh, rappelling down, 
and saving her. So she ended up being totally okay. Um, the They were able to get her out Icon. totally fine, dislodge the truck, and I don't think it fell. I think they were able to, like, anchor it and pull it up. Um, God, you would, can you not depress us? Way to ruin a day. Did you hear about the older couple who were both 69 years old? She was a notary, and the guy booked her last appointment for the day. When she went to answer the door to shake his hand, he pulled a gun and shot her in the face. Jesus! Is this story gonna get better? Um. Did you hear about that one cop who... <laughs> who was responding to a, a um, like a uh, disturbance? Mm -hmm. Like a domestic disturbance mm -hmm. and completely got the wrong address and then who and then like knocked at a door didn't say it was the police and he the guy on the other end opened the door with his gun like in a lower position like pointing downwards because mm -hmm. that's because, a normal you know, thing to do it's, it's like a yeah and so the cop just like fucking blasted the guy who turned out to be like an army reserve uh, airman mm. and that was like super controversial <laughs> i fucking cop just let it rip i try to stay away from cop news now because i get super a cab and like super espresso depresso down with the system and like yeah, I I, too. <laughs> I just try to stay away from it now. I don't want every stream to be like, all right, guys, I got three cops stories about why these fucking bastards need to be in. like, I don't I don't <laughs> want to do that. I don't want to be that type of person. I I don't want that to be what this is. When her husband came in from the garden, he pulled a huge gardening knife and eviscerated and dismembered the guy. Wife is still in intensive care. I hope she makes it. That's fucking Jesus Christ. Crazy. Are we going this direction now NTR. to avoid talking about NTR? No. We're going over the stories that I had in my notes. And uh, it's just been a few not happy ones in a row. And the sheriff got all the details. He said that the attacker was a 12-time repeat offender for this type of crime. And the old guy would not only not be charged, and he had done everyone a service. Wait. Oh, bro. Two days ago, a gas tanker was slowly going up a hill. A car slammed into the back of it, killing the driver instantly, and the tanker caught on fire. The major highway for Denver had, like, one lane open for a while. Jesus, gardening knife. He was an Air Jesus Force Christ. personal that was involved in the SOCOM. Was a crewman on AC-130. Car is streaming if you wanted to raid her. I don't even know if you take raid suggestions. I typically don't. Um, I do love Kara. Uh... But I typically, I typically have so many people followed on Twitch that I, I'm never in a position where I'm like, oh man, who do we raid? There's nobody streaming. It is always, it is always, God, there's too many people live right now. Sometimes it's easy. Yesterday, who did we raid yesterday? It was Fusty Lug streaming a lot earlier than she normally does. So it was like, oh, fucking easy choice, but. Um, Kara is overdue for a raid from me. Uh, people but the cops are scared for their own life. Me? Well, gave them full armor. I, my opinion is that, like, that's the job you chose. I if you're, like, scared of everything and, like, terrified that every person's gonna pull a gun on you, why are you a cop? Like, that's... I know it's a tough job. I know it's a surface. I know it's like, you know, this this is difficult and nerve-wracking and tough. But you signed up for it. This is an option you chose. Oh. So, like, what? <sighs> I want calm people signing up to be cops so that when they answer a door and somebody answers with a gunpoint at the ground... They think for two seconds, and then they're like, Sir, I got a call about this. Well, I, you know, I'm not married, so I don't know why you got a call here. Sure thing, sounds reasonable. Let me just check with headquarters, make sure we have the right address. Sorry to inconvenience you. 
All headquarters. Oh, yeah, wrong address. Sir, sounds like we got the wrong address. Sorry to bother you. Uh, hope you have a good day. That's how that should go. <laughs> Fucking every time. But, like... Ugh. Why do you never raid me, man? I wonder why, Zooey. Happy news time. My son learned a new yeah, word today. You raid the me? word alone. That's not happy at all. That's <laughs> like, why is he learning that word? Cops should check addresses before exiting vehicle, just saying. I mean, yes. Um, There is a bit of like, hey, this is an emergency response, so like, we gotta get there soon. Wow, no, no. We gotta make sure we have the right address. Like, you know, in that situation, no. It sounds like a domestic case. Um he had time to check it really it's not even like the cop's fault it's well it is his fault for pulling the gun but the wrong address part is not his fault that's the person feeding him the info uh, well i guess it could go either of those two they didn't choose the fatally allergic to trace amounts of fentanyl i agree cop cargo burr why was he alone do they not have to be in pairs always in the usa uh I don't know on that, actually. Here's a depressing but funny story. So in Taiwan, they are signing a bill in Parliament. I don't even remember what the bill was about. I didn't write it down. But basically, a member <laughs> of the Taiwanese <laughs> Parliament was like, I'm going to throw away my career to prevent this bill from being signed. And so he grabbed it and ran. I don't know if he thinks this is going to, like, stop it forever or what, <laughs> but he grabbed the bill and he ran. And, like, it's a fucking kangaroo court situation. It's just like, what the fuck is happening? How does this ever... How does this happen? You learned the word because I was saying, I mean, you please can't leave sign the plan a alone. Bill into law mm -hmm. if you don't have the bill. Wait, are you guys saying that the campaign to defund the police a while back? Made cops overall worse? Oh my, I can't believe this. Actually, I regret saying this now, sorry. Yeah, I <laughs> I highly disagree with you, Techno Rave. Um, the uh, Biden kind of campaigned. Now, he didn't hard campaign on defund the police, but he was a little supportive of the people that were saying it. And then when he got in office, he said, police need more funding. To his credit, crime rates have gone down. We are spending way too much money on police. I feel like... I feel like crime would go down if police got better training. And the, more so, um, if people weren't in such dire situations. I think crime comes from poverty. The more basic human needs pa people have taken care of, the less they need to resort to crime. Crime happens because they need food. Because life is tough. Because they feel justified in having gone through such a raw deal that it's time they get theirs um i don't think doubling the police budget is a good solution but it has been reducing crime just ban guns they don't have to be so trigger happy i'm all for banning guns but that is a that is a very long gradual process that is going to take 10 fucking years and not overnight that's not what that actually means but go off yeah defund the police doesn't mean get rid of the police it means stop giving them so much money that they're buying atvs and grenade launchers and jet skis true but i'm still gonna cry in a corner um national day today is whiskey day National Whiskey Day. It's National Mother Whistler Day. Specifically, if you're a mother, uh, today's your day to whistle. I guess. It's also I, didn't I know love it was Whiskey Day. <laughs> it's also I love Reese's Day. <laughs> so. Oh, hold on. If today's you're... based <laughs> Reese's and whiskey. Uh huh. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> if you like Reese's and whiskey, fucking go off today. That's me. That's literally me. <laughs> Observations. So they're going. 
Crime most often comes from poverty. Yeah. We have a massive it's issue like of people crime. not being able to make ends meet. Theory, we actually do have higher crime right now. But it's not being reported to make the numbers look good. I mean, so... It is... I don't know if we have anything that can say, like, yes or no, is it being reported more? The fact is, crime rates have gone down, and the police budget has gone up. Um, it's th Those are the, like, objective numbers that we have. Is that because the police are able to suppress crime more? Huh? Probably. Is it, like, overall, like, bad or good? I would say overall it's bad. Because it doesn't answer the initial problem of people are fucking struggling. And, like, crime and turning to crime. Um, I like what Singapore does. They have a lot of, like, crime detection through cameras. They also have a lot of basic human rights being provided. They have... I don't remember if they have universal basic income, but they do have provided housing and healthcare. And so, like... They will go a year without somebody stealing a cell phone. And, like, somebody will break the streak and they're like, Aw, man, shit. But, like, nobody needs to steal. Because they they have their needs provided for. And as a country, they're clearly doing fucking fine. Uh, ew, corporate day, gonna eat a Reese's in a corner. Someone get him some screwball. Increasing the police budget was the tool used to stop the riots when police brutality was the outcry. I agree. I agree. It's... I don't like the police getting a bigger budget. I don't like the police. Um, I think they are needed. I just don't want them to have so many protections. I fucking hate the police unions. But that is, that is an espresso-depresso conversation for another time. Um... Here's a funny story. America's leading Nazi propagandist was streaming the other day. And uh, he ended his stream and he didn't realize he was still live because he didn't actually end his stream. He just said, bye guys. All right, now that that stream's done, I can masturbate. And he opened up some gay oh porn. Oh my gosh. And uh, everybody. People in Dark Side Phil. <laughs> yep. Everybody watched Give him. One second. <laughs> Get off to gay porn. <laughs> the leading Nazi propagandist. So. <laughs> Singapore has a lot of issues. I don't doubt it. But trash and crime is not one of them. Ugh. That you and have this was the porn AI? I have no idea. I didn't look at it. I just saw leading Nazi propaganda streams himself watching gay porn. His stand is out right now. Singing Singapore praises like saying Dubai is perfect. What? I didn't even. I have to go did. AFK for a little. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> bye. I'll be. I'll be back in like thirty. Okay. At least was the porn femboys. I have no idea. That's the first I'm hearing of Singapore's, like, problems. Uh, obviously, Dubai's not perfect. I Obviously, Singapore's not perfect. I didn't know they were that comparable. Um, <laughs> Here's another funny story. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are moving forward with their boxing match. Um, they, uh, they did the face-off, and holy shit, guys. Jake Paul tried to intimidate Mike Tyson. He literally tried to mean mug him and like scare him. And Mike Tyson fucking laughed in his face. And Jake Paul, God, he looked so fucking, he just looked cringe like, yeah, I fucking scared him. Oh, I, I sure got him. And it's like, dude, that's Mike fucking Tyson. You had to write into, con into the contract that he's not allowed to knock your ass out. Anyways, Tyson's still in good shape. He's still in good shape. He is like 55 or 60. I'm a little worried because he is he is old. I'm really hoping he just knocks him out. Mike Tyson's reflection is the only thing that scares Mike Tyson. Time for Jack to get pile drive him. 
I really hope... I really hope this ends with Jake Paul looking like a bitch. Wait, he's only 50 to 60? I think so. I Somebody can look up his age right now. Um... I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. I, Jake Paul has a lot of money. He has a lot of money to spend on trainers and like a lot of time and effort to, you know, be in the absolute best shape for this. I don't think it's an easy win for, well, I don't think it's a free win for Tyson. I think in his heyday, Tyson wins. I think in his age, Tyson probably wins. But like, I'm not 100% confident Tyson wins. I want him to. My God, I want him to. But... Tyson is a young 57. My Tyson just turned 21. If you want to giggle, say lines and names from Harry Potter with Mike Tyson's lisp. <laughs> Basically, don't be female in Singapore. You don't get the same opportunities. It's still a male favorite society. Also, males have mandatory military service as well. Big thing, though, is that the corpse ruined Singapore. Hmm. Paul will probably use gen therapy. <laughs> I mean, so all of those issues, Logitech, I feel like it could be worse, right? Um, being a female in Singapore so that you don't get the same opportunities, I don't know the extent of how bad that is. If that's like you don't have rights and you get arranged marriages, that's fucking shitty. But if that's like getting a job is harder for a girl, that sucks, but I mean, it, it's almost the same here. Um... Mandatory military service, that's just what it is, right? Like, mil mandatory military service sucks, but if you don't have people signing up for the military, it's got to happen. I would rather have mandatory military service so that it gets done than what we have here in the U.S. where we have army recruiters glorifying it and just outright lying to kids to get them to join because we have a lot of people in military now that like fresh out of high school military told them to join promised them they'd get twenty thousand dollars if they did two years and they never see that money money because it was just an outright lie and so like in that regard i mean what's a worse system i master panda lord and the Corpo ruins Singapore, or Corpos run Singapore. I mean, they run everywhere. They definitely uh, run the world here. Run, not ruin. Mm. But I can see the other point. I, you know, I, I see all of those things, and I'm like, this sucks. That, that is shitty. But I don't think it's like. I don't think it's like, oh, that that is a no-go zone, right? You never want to live there. I I still think of Singapore as pretty fucking great for some of its things that it's done. You say it's cyberpunk? How do you win, boob? It was a beach day. Um, Mop Remix. Uh... <laughs> Hi, Foss. Hey, Elon, don't look left. I was playing Rabbit and Seal with Foss yesterday, and he had, like, really bad neck pain. He, like, slept on his neck wrong, and so if he looked left, specifically if he looked left, it was fine, but if it was, like, left and down or left and up, it was, like, really painful for him. And um, so I joined a call with him to play Rabbit and Seal, and I was like, Foss, don't look left. He's like, fuck you, dude. Son of a beach. Mop Remix is a bait and switch. It's not like PTR. Really? That's crazy. Um, I saw that they fixed the bug that boss damage was too high. Um, I saw I saw a post from some guy that was like, hey, I'm a tank with 175,000 health, and Garlon Pheromones just hit me for 250k. Is that intended? <laughs> and then I saw the hotfix like, hey, we have fixed the uh, damage of a lot of boss abilities. Oopsie. I still, like, I'm really hyped to play Mop Remix. I want to level my warrior. Um, it's a good chunk better, but still for sure there. My headache feels worse, though. Oh, no, Foss. Um, I talked about Rabbit and Seal for, like, 30 minutes earlier. Scaling post-60 is broken. Alt cloaks only start at 100% max. 
Oh. Hmm. I saw that you get 12% experience for normal boss that you kill. So I want to kill... I want to do every raid on normal. Um. I'm very eager to do that. Uh... But yeah, I, I talked about Rabbit and Seal for like 30 minutes to an hour earlier, Foss. About all the stuff we were, we were doing yesterday. I want the Defender. I want the Defender so bad. I think that's going to be the class that I like the most. I like Heavy Blade. I like Druid. I can see myself really liking Defender. I also played a bit more with Safi when you went to bed. Um, I did a few runs on Cute just to play the classes I'm not that interested in. So I had a Sniper run. I had a bruiser run. And I had a spell sword run. Um, they were okay. Too much thought for me in like a real match where I'm like, oh god, I have to do all the movement while doing this stuff. Um, hope you get better soon, Foss. I do too. Uh, uh. Um, I'm not sure if Bits is still offline. This is literally in my notes. Bits still offline. Send him love. And then core VR chat. What maps did we go to yesterday? Uh, recently visited. We went to my two Metroid worlds. And then we went to... Two really small nature worlds. One was like an island in... Uh, in an ocean. The other was a flower floating through an environment. Then we went to one called Serenity in Nature, which was... An oddly realistic looking world with like a lot of neat stuff like tree houses and whatnot. And then uh and then we just went to the comfy cat tree. Talked and passed out. Uh, when does Yulin stream Minecraft, by the way? We already did it. We did that on day 299, Violet. That was our day 300 celebration. The VOD is uploaded. Um, and the Minecraft server is, well, it's down right now, but we do have a, a dedicated Minecraft server. You've, you've been on the server. You've been on it. You knew, you were there. Um, oh, I thought you were making it a regular thing. No, no, it was, it was a day 300 celebration and I'm planning to play more. I'm, I want to do like a little bit each day and like just learn Minecraft and get some stuff done. Minecraft Monday, make it happen. It's not going to be a regular thing. Um. I. God. I. Oh, guys. I'm already streaming eight times a week. I don't want to make it nine. Twice a month? No. No. I can see myself like. If, if I see like four or five people on the Minecraft server. I can see myself jumping in Discord. And like streaming it there. But it's not a it's not gonna be a regular Twitch thing. You and my boss left me. I'm all alone. Good. Server is down right now because the person who hosts it has no power. I'm not sure if he has power or not, Foss. He checked in earlier, but I don't know if that was just on his phone. It was the person who raided yesterday. Let's see. Cassie? Cassie raided yesterday. Or was there somebody before Cassie? No, it was Cassie. Hi, Nyx. Fund the challenge 1.5 million points. Just stream 39 times a week, you goober. God, no. I do have Wolf Mommy Realm. I, Cassie, C-A-S-S-I-E, princess, all put together like one word. Good morning, you and Cassie. No, no. I don't really want to play on Wolf Mommy Realm because I don't want to, like, split myself between two servers. I'm already splitting myself across, like, four fucking games. I don't want to stop playing V Rising. I still want to play Mop Remix. I want to play Rabbit and Steel. Um, I'm not, I'm not that interested in playing Wolf Mommy Realm, making a house, 
Bits coming back and then going back to Bits Realm. To me, I'm just like, while Bits is gone, it's just focus on other things. Um, I am not like, I need to get Minecraft in right now. It's just, you know, there's six things to do. I am locked out of doing one of them. Oh, I didn't have many stories from yesterday. We pretty much covered them all. VR chat Kmart closing down. Sending a thank you note for job rejections, Lamau. Daily dose hand amputation. Driver dangling from bridge, bridge after car accidents successfully rescued. Taiwan Parliament Congressman stole a bill and ran away with it. National Day, I Love Reese's Day, Whiskey Day, Mother's Whistler Day. American leading Nazi propaganda streamed himself watching gay porn. Jake Paul Tyson Lamau, Mop Remix Boss Damage, Raven Seal, Bits to Offline, and Core VR Chat. That was my notes for today. Temporary until Bits is back online. Nix, come here, let me high five your eye. <laughs> Why? I didn't do anything. Stop hating me, Etsuko. Kmart's closing. The Kmart community in VR Chat is closing. The world will still be up and you can visit them in VR Chat. Um. But the Discord and community are going to disband. As the person running it put, the cons now outweigh the pros. My brain don't work so well. Nyx, how far have you gotten in Moth Remix? Uh, and what are you leveling? I made a warrior. It's at like level 21, I think. Um, I haven't played it as much as I would like to. But there's so many things to play right now. There's so many things to play right now. You're not playing it, are you? That's fine. That's fine. I just expected you to. I'm leveling a panda and dwarf for free so you can kill me a thousand times. Nyx Huntera TK. Mm hmm. Ugh. You know what's really funny to me? Etsuko is just hanging out in chat. She's just like here. But she's also live for her own stream. I don't know how people do this. This is like a level of multitasking I will never be able to do. Just a greeting, of course. One should greet each other. Proper greetings are important. Yes, Etsuko loves to do field trips. Neither do I. No, she can't. No, she can get her Warlord of Draenor achieve. Oh, so she can. Okay. Then I will actually level the character I want. Mm -hmm. Good greeting. Isn't proper to smack my face? People just end too fast, Takaru. I must to provide support. I always have four streams open. I can usually only focus on one or two. But I always have four open. You gotta. You gotta. I will likely level a Gabo Shaman. Mm hmm. I'm leveling a Troll Warrior. I am really looking at playing Fury Warrior in War Within. I'm keeping an eye on Feral and Balanced Druid. I'm keeping an eye on uh, Affliction and Death's uh, Demonology Warlocks. And keeping an eye on Rose and keeping an eye on Enhancement Shamans. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on Arcane Mage. Is there anything else I'm keeping an eye on? I'm keeping an eye on Mistwaver. Kind of. I don't think I should heal anymore. That warrior pug in Sarkarath got me fucked up, Nyx. Here's any other viewer. What are you talking about? It's hard when 12 of your friends are live at once. God, I know, Hunt. I fucking hate it when they all go live at once. High five, Nyx. Just found out fertility pills are a thing? Uh-huh. That's common for greetings. Oh, 
Oh shit. I think I know where we're going today. Uh, not that I'm totally ready to end. Good lord. Oh god. I need to clean my house today. I need to clean my house today, but I feel fucking disgusting from how sweaty I am. We had fucking 12% incline, thanks to Matthews. I'm so fucking tired now. And these nuts in your mouth? What does that imply? You need a tongue bath? No, I do not what need a want? tongue bath. Um. No. Oh. You were supposed to do it to hands, that's go not faces. Bah, don't sweat the details. I'll help you clean. Really, Hunt? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um. Oh, Hunt gets to help. Okay, I see. Yeah, because they'll actually do it. If I was like, all right, Pixel, you can help. Um, Not with a tongue bath, but you can help. You'd be like, uh, no. Uh. Ooh, woo, LOL. I got nothing. <laughs> Nix, do you work today? Work every weekend? Ah. I hope when you do work, it goes fast. We clean up Yulin's house, then Yulin kissing pairs of underwear. Yulin kissing pairs of underwear. What? Missing pairs of underwear. Okay, I was like, kissing? What the fuck? Missing. Okay, okay. I had a friend tell me yesterday that I need to be selling my used socks. And then they linked me an entire subreddit about used socks. And I was like, oh. Oh god, that's a thing. Jesus. Yulin tastes like fine wine Who now. Oh my god. I mean, yes, kissing. Uh, I think missing is a lot better. Yulin put on the maid outfit. It doesn't work. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't have good colliders. I do need a maid outfit. I need to fucking learn Avatar stuff. There's just not enough time for anything. Maybe I schedule it. Maybe I set a day in the week where I'm like, I am going to spend three to four hours doing Avatar stuff on these days, and I will be in my Discord streaming it. And anybody that wants to come hang out or help can. Um, and that'll keep me on pace to like actually do Avatar stuff. Yuland has a Discord? I do. You can type in exclamation point discord or exclamation point socials to see it. God, I'm so out of touch. Fuck you, Elon. What did I do now, global? I didn't do shit. Agreed. Don't agree with that. Don't agree with global. Ah. 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 Today is a carb cycle day. I get to eat more than usual. Hell yeah. Um, nap. Clean the house. My parents get back tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll stream. And then, uh, I don't know. They're probably going to get back. And I don't know if they want to like go to a restaurant or if they want to like cook a nice dinner. Or if they're just like, we just want to fucking vibe, dude. Uh, we're tired and going to bed at 6 p.m. <laughs> mm. I have no idea. Um, but I will be looking to spend time with my parents tomorrow because I haven't seen them for six months. They haven't seen me in six months. The last time they saw me, I only lost like 40 pounds and I've lost like an extra 35 since then. I actually, I saw 137 for the first time this morning. I weighed myself and I was 137.5. So I can say 68 pounds down now. We are inching closer to 70 pounds lost. Um. Mm -hmm. Well done. Thank you. Um. 
<laughs> Holy shit, proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, it's a... Uh, there's still, there's still a little bit of a fat pack. A little bit of a squishy belly. But it's, it's <sighs> getting smaller every week. So Euland is light enough to princess carry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, that's concerning when you said that, and I'm like, that's a relatively normal thing for Global to say. Or normal mm -hmm. thing, and Global said it. Oh, sorry, you could probably hear that snapping of my earbud thing. Too bad I'm going to carry you like a soiled area rug. That's not that bad either. Sling over the shoulder. There's an appeal to that as well. It's not all bad. Not if I fold him like a lawn chair first. I can princess carry you in right to the trash can. You would not princess carry me to the trash can. Would you lost one? You wouldn't, right? Mm. You'd princess carry me mm. to like the couch and then put on like a JRPG, right? Mm. Right? We'd play Vesperia together. Right? Princess carry him to Netarari. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah to lost mm. one. Not to the degeneracy Violet just said. Uh, uh. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Yeah, that's a bit much. Global being like, that's a bit much. Is this a moment of clarity? Is there like a solstice going on that's like purging the demons out of Global for a moment and he like has two hours to be himself again? But you can dream of where you went wrong? Jesus. You have nothing for me to take from you. That's kicking someone when they are down. Does Global have a soul? Yes, Global has a soul. I think Global is actually a very normal person. I think they're like... Outwardly and like to the rest of the world, they seem like a genuinely nice and just normal dude. It's online, they have like, I gotta get these urges out. And so they're weird. They're random, and they're like, la creatura. And then they, they walk away from Twitch, and they're just like, ah, oh, I got that out of my system. And then they're just a totally pleasant and nice dude IRL. That's my theory. That's my running theory about Global. JRPG and chill. I don't think Lost One would want JRPG and chill. Only my future wife can fold me like a lawn chair. Oh, if only my oddities ended at the internet. You can open the door and ask Global directly. Good lord. Ah. Never. Nah, we just gaming? I think I'd be like, you wanna fuck? And Lost would be like, no, I really just wanna play the game. And I'd be like, all right, I'm absolutely down to game. And we would 100% just play Tales of Vesperia or whatever Tales game or whatever JRPG for like five days straight, 12, day, 12 hours a day. I could absolutely see Lost One and I doing that if we had the time. Ah. <sighs> 12 days an hour. What is this, Interstellar? Ah. Ah. We're gonna end. Ah. I'm so tired, guys. I want to fall asleep so fast. I feel fucking vile because of the sweat. But we're going to nap first. There ain't no way. Uh, 
behave anchor that's what I need ah, I love this world ah okay I need to open this and then I need to open link to a new tab Somebody is playing Marvels on stream, so we're going there. Cause I fucking love Marvels on stream. Um, socials. Walking our way over. Walking our way over. Tales of Plaparia. M4 second wind prevents them from sleep. It's it's possible. Flash raid. Spork of Love. Did I spell that right? Nope, I forgot the E. You started to raid the Spork of Love. Spork of Love is one of the nicest, just wholesome people I've ever met. So you all gotta be on your best behavior. They're playing Marvels on stream. Oh, there's drops today. I thought that was on Fridays. Um. But yeah, Spork is super nice. They're probably gonna sing me a song when I get there. Uh... That being said, uh, thank you everybody for keeping me company. We did five miles. Thank you, Matthews, for the 12 month gifts of and 50 PayPal. God, you're so fucking insane. You're so fucking insane, Matthews. I love you. I love you. Bye.